There's the game. There it is. Well, I mean, this music is actually... Like, you can find this music in a lot of stuff. Because it's... Obviously public domain. I don't know where it originated from, but... Is it the first time you're at the start of the stream? That's so amazing. It's a weird one, too. I don't ever play weird games, so, you know... This is a franchise that should come back. Like, it's such a cool concept. I mean, it's nothing, like, amazing. But it, as for a game, though, franchise, it's a good concept. Oh, DirectX 6, sure. I don't know. I don't think that does any matters. <laughs> One weird thing, whatever this guy did, he like put all this in here, which makes it weird to know what to pick. I don't even know how he did this or what he did. Or why I can pick any chapter of any scenario. I don't even know what the, oh, that's part of Act 1. But I'm just hoping if I pick the beginning of Act 1, it'll work fine. I'm pretty sure it will. Act two B, Act four B. Well, where? Wait. Huh. I don't know what that means. Four has a A and a B. I don't know what the difference could be. Because usually it would just say Act one, two, three, or four. But this is interesting. I don't. Cause uh, there's like there was like newer versions of like the engine and stuff. I don't know exactly what this installer did. We'll just start. Here. This should work though. Hey, Evo. Yeah. That would used to crash the computer or the stream, but now it doesn't. The resolution shifting. Stranger, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Stranger. Man, if this guy ever meant the merchant from RE4, he would wonder how the merchant knew his name. <laughs> the world is a dark place. Who will protect the world from darkness? We will. We will. Do I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Maybe I can't. Do, 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 do. I suppose I should tell you you would have a partner on this mission. A partner? Partner? Ooh. Svetlana Lopescu. I know you really don't like us. I don't us. like anyone. <laughs> I don't like I anyone. <laughs> monsters. <laughs> God. I wouldn't call her a monster. She's only half vampire. Half is too much. But it's that half of her that makes her so ideal for this assignment. You put aside your personal feelings in the past, stranger. I trust you'll do the same now. If she crosses me, she dies. 
I'm sure she feels the same about you. At least we all like everybody, each other here. Sure, I can talk to you. Do I have to go? Maybe I have to do this first. Nice to see you again, stranger. I look New streamer. To hey, Wander. I was here yesterday. What do you mean? Have either of you ever heard of the Yathful Gule Stone? The who? What? When you've heard of it, I suspected you might. Only through legend. It's the Holy Grail of the Vampire world. The vampire. vampire who wields it is said to Vierds be immune it. to those things that would kill any other vampire. He can walk anywhere, even in sunlight, and strike down man or beast with a thought. Yes, those are the legends. Some even suggest that the stone is the petrified heart of an ancient vampire. But, legends aside, we think we've tracked down the artifact. I always thought that it was just as much a myth as the Holy Grail. What makes you think the Grail is a myth? Yes, well, we think we might have found the Athel Gule Stone. Our intelligence suggests that a castle in Germany by the name of Gaustadt was the last known location of the artifact. Rumors, of course, but reports of strange creatures and supernatural events have been becoming suspiciously more frequent over the past century. Whether the stone is there or not, something is drawing the supernatural to that mountain. This is hmm. beginning to sound like a research assignment. Research? Far more important than that. Your mission is to retrieve the artifact. We've surveyed the regions as best we can. Reports that have trickled out over the past hundred years indicate that the journey itself to the castle will be treacherous. Why is it so important to retrieve this stone? No one here can utilize its full potential. I suspect that not even I would benefit from its powers, since my half-human blood gives me many of the benefits this stone is rumored to bestow. As you know, our trophy hall is filled with weapons and artifacts of great power that would allow an individual to rule the world should he wield them properly. By keeping them here under lock and key, we can ensure that they never fall into the wrong hands. Why not simply destroy them? Some cannot be destroyed. We've tried. Others may prove useful to us in the future. In the event of another great war, we have weapons that would guarantee our victory against any odds. Returning to business, we've done some preliminary reconnaissance. Our operatives couldn't penetrate very deeply into the foothills. The entire area is crawling with werewolves. Werewolves? I thought you killed all the werewolves in Germany. Werewolves. We tried to find relatives or friends of anyone from the Gaustadt hmm. region. We couldn't find one person with any connection to the area. We do know that small villages in the area were inhabited as late as the 1850s, but since then, no one has had any first-hand contact with anyone there. All the information you need is on your desks, and your travel arrangements have been made. Good luck, and be careful. Meet me at the elevator when you're ready to leave, stranger. This is like the first game with like dynamic shadows and cloth physics. I don't have to look up to know the stranger has just entered this room. The power of your thoughts you sound precedes pizza. you, stranger. Cut the crap, Hiram. Cut the crap. I've known you long enough to know you can't read minds. Technically, that is true, but you know I can sense intense feelings. And you, my dear fellow, have the most intense aura I've ever encountered. It's obvious you have a new mission that you're not looking forward to. Though I can't imagine what objection you could have against any mission. The Colonel assigned Svetlana as my partner. Oh. Oh. It's cool that you like get to walk it like th this could have been a bit, you know, 
pretty cool franchise. This whole setup. Greetings, stranger. What brings you to this room? Your fighting skills with weapons are unsurpassed. I'm not a stereotype. Have you come for me to teach you hand-to-hand -hand techniques? I already I'm... know all the hand-to-hand -hand techniques I need. I prefer weapons. Surely you did not come here for spiritual guidance. No. No. I'm just checking the team's status. Ah, very well. Moloch is you an killed God. training tool. That's good. His experience, strength, I are strength, highly recommend doing most that. Worthy of opponents. He keeps Haystack on his toes. Haystack cannot just blindly punch. He must no, focus Haystack all cannot. concentration, all of his energy, spiritual yes. and physical, when fighting Moloch. He must Haystack must focus. At an intense rate. Moloch is stronger and faster than any other opponent Haystack has fought before. Yeah, Moloch is very Years strong. Of training with Moloch. And Haystack has yet to land a punch. Not a single one. That is his ultimate goal. I think Moloch does this out of boredom. While he waits for his next assignment. However, his will is unsurpassed. And his patience immeasurable when it needs mm, to be. Yes. I am interested to see what happens when Haystack finally connects with one of his punches. Moloch could be interesting. It's impossible. It I probably is impossible. See the potential of the ex-boxer and know it will one day happen. Haystack one already day. has amazing fighting technique and some knowledge of magic. Most important, he has the drive. Even after all these sessions without a single hit on Moloch, Haystack awaits the next session with enthusiasm. He never mm. gets discouraged. Never. That is why it will one day happen. I wonder if Moloch will show surprise on that first hit. I wonder if his demon heart is capable of such an emotion. I believe in Haystack. Do you believe in Haystack? And stranger, I'm not used to seeing you here. I thought you did all of your training in the field. I do. So you just... Thought you'd drop by for a visit, huh? Yes. Well, Dip. Ken's showing me a couple of new mental techniques to use in battle. His teachings have greatly helped me expand my fighting style and my spiritual prowess, as he calls it. <laughs> I hear you have a mission assignment. You and Svetlana are to find the yacht for Gaiol. You hear a lot. It's a damn treasure hunt. Ah, but the forests are supposedly overrun with werewolves once again. I would gladly. The camera didn't refocus on him when he changed his size. Interaction <laughs> on this mission. Stranger, come and fight. I'll step out and you can take on Molly. He's got to be the toughest bastard in the world. Even when he's holding back, I can barely last five minutes. I'd hate to fight against him when he isn't pulling his punches. Yes, stranger. Let us spar. I don't think you'd like the outcome. <laughs> All right. Let us know if you change your mind. Back to it. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Time to go. Wait, can I do this? Haha, uh -huh. bye! Moloch, does he eat children? Uh, I don't think so, otherwise we probably wouldn't let him be here. Stranger, can you come back later? As you can see, I'm extremely busy. I have so to busy. leave on a mission soon. <clears throat> I see. And you want to know if I have any goodies for you? Goodies. What's the mission? Werewolves and vampires. Vampires? Svetlana just returned from her last mission. Hey, right, I don't suppose she's going on this mission with you, is she? Yes. Interesting. Yes. 
Well, I've got the standard aqua vampira that Hamilton Killian helped develop. Better than holy water, he always said. And I have a new item that I just finished. I haven't had time to field test it yet. Basically, it produces artificial sunlight. It takes a while to charge up, but when it does, it ought to fry any vampires and at the very least temporarily blind anything else. You'd better not accidentally shoot a team member with it, especially Svetlana. Hmm, I wonder if this machine will even have an effect on a dampier. Oh, either way, it might not be a good idea to use this if you and Svetlana... I mean, she can walk out in the sun, so I don't see why artificial sunlight would matter Take to her. Take my chances. What do you call right? it? Right? It's the charged radiance emitter, or more colorfully, the son of God. Son nice. of God. Anything else? It's a pun. Wolves, huh? Where did you say you're going? Germany. I thought you killed all the... What else do you have? Sorry, stranger, just the standard silver bullets. I've been very busy. Twenty. You're lucky I was able to finish the sun. Twenty's pretty the good. This is a this franchise needs to come back almost as much as Martian Gothic, if not more. Give me the bullets. Give me. Duh. I don't have anything else for you. Why now not? Let me get back Give to me work. more stuff. People what got the right nocturne. It didn't go with the Shen Megami Tensei nocturne. I'm gonna turn her lights off too. I'm turning everyone's lights off. Did they turn their lights back? No, they didn't. Right. Now they won't be able to see anything. But look at the shadows, though. This is 1999. Usually shadows were just like a little circle under their feet. Look at this. And the, and the lighting. And then, of course, cloth physics. Everyone had the puddle shadow. Now, if I let the frame rate go unlimited, the cloth physics go insane, but still. And this is blood rain, or she she becomes blood rain, sort of, not really, but sort of. You're gonna see the capture go nuts every time we transition because it shifts the resolution and stuff. But watch out! Wait, this one's not a monster. Are you crazy? He just climbed out of a grave. I'm telling you, he smells of life. She's the... Who yeah, are you? well, this is the inspiration. She's the inspiration no, for Blood Rain. everywhere. Sentinels. The Grandmaster. Who are these sentinels? Huge, monstrous things. Hideous things that will devour you whole. Come on, Svetlana. He's crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. You come here of your own free will. You're crazy. You'll never escape. No, you're crazy. You obviously escaped. Yes, but I'm not crazy. I'm a genius. I hid in a coffin with my friend's corpse, so when they buried him out here, I could escape. Ah, they found me! Well, what well was goodbye that then. All about? I'm not sure. He was totally mad. But one thing I am sure of. There are vampires here. I can smell them. Did you see the bite marks on his neck? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, this this game technically like like must like was for 1999 is pretty insane.
do 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 do. There's nothing down here, is there? I went to. Like these are pre-rendered backgrounds, but you do have like a night oh. vision that is first person, which is wild, and the like kind of basic 3D of every of the whole of everything. It's interesting. It's kind of weird. Good job, Svetlana. You also can do mouse and keyboard aim, so you have way more control than, say, Resident Evil. Like for fixed camera. This is like the first fixed camera... Well, not the first, but one of the earliest that's not like tank control, but actually functional without tank control. I mean, it's sort of tank control, but also not because of the you can mouse turn. And then. I don't know. This game's awesome, actually. Only bad thing I would say is that you could jump, which leads to some goofy platforming. I can feel air coming from this crypt. It smells like fresh air. Hmm. It might open into the town somewhere. Okay. Used the key. I can't go on. We are nearing holy ground. We just tromped through an entire graveyard. Why stop now? That little graveyard was never consecrated. It's not holy. But the ground here burns my skin. To go any further would be suicide. Fine. I'll go on alone. I'll find another way in. Uh-huh. Go uh -huh. ahead and enter the village through the crypt. Try to open the front gate. In the meantime, I look for another way in. Another way. Cloth physics in the 90s. This is the first game with cloth physics, uh, as far as I understand. And dynamic lighting, right? I'm pretty sure it's... And shadows, right? I think it's the first for all those things. I might be wrong, but... About one of them or something, but... And it's shockingly... It's not really all that jank, either. Like, the auto-aim is... Works very well with, uh the mouse uh, I could, this could suck on controller though potentially I was thinking about trying to get it to work that way but I couldn't because it's you know 1999 controllers was like I don't know not X input <laughs> dynamic lighting okay but it's like the shadows though like that move around and stuff then actually look like the character models. I mean, I don't think you didn't see that much on PS1. And definitely didn't see the cloth physics. Does it have ray tracing? No. No. I could try using reshade for ray tracing. I don't think ray tracing would work very well in pre with pre-rendered backgrounds. Wouldn't that be... 
Or would that even matter? Like I thought, like I realized, like I was looking for DirectX 9 games to try to put into RTX Remix. And I was mostly looking for stupid things to try to put it in, in there, like uh, Alone in the Dark 2008. So far I haven't got anything to work, but I, I guess I could have tried Resident Evil Remake. It looks like an item there, but I don't know if it is. Are you an item? Maybe you're just background junk. I mean, there's definitely an item over here. Doctor bag. I also put this game on auto heal though. Like, I think if you if you don't do auto aim and auto heal on this game, I could see it being rough. Hello. Assuming this is stable, this is like by far the best I've ever gotten this running though. We'll see. We've see we've had times where it looks stable for a while, only to destabilize after a while. <clears throat> yeah, for fixed camera, the shooting style is actually really good. But it has the advantage of a mouse that, you know. Obviously, consoles didn't have, but I mean, I guess the PC versions of Resident Evil could have done that, but I don't know why, they, you know, they're not going to change things like that and make them different. Hello? Hmm. Hello? I wonder if I can even, like, see, isn't that weird? Like, this is wild. Like, there's so much stuff in this game. Because even those pre-rendered backgrounds, there are 3D stuff in here, too. So for the night vision. And you can shoot in the night vision. You can shoot in this mode, too. I think. Can you? Yeah, you can. It's insane. Like... 1999. This is before the Dreamcast came out. Co Veronica doesn't even have the shadows that this game has. Yeah, Terminality, they died. A Walking Dead good game, it killed them. Or finished them off, I guess. Cloth physics? There's something probably more dynamic about these cloth physics I would assume or something but like I mean I don't remember maybe these are like real time cloth physics it's not just like moving you know, for certain scenes or whatever. Ooh, who's on the roof up there? But I don't know. It's possible others for first, but... This is the first one I know of that's kind of like impressive. <laughs> Stranger? Hello? Stranger. I found another way in. What are these horrible things? Sentinels. I've already killed three others. There might be more. The pathing can be a little goofy for the in-game cutscenes. Sometimes they get stuck. And the cutscene gets stuck. I've had that happen. You. 
Yeah, right back. Whoa. I think I just have to kill whatever's here. Ordinary. What bullets was I using? Oh, I was using Aqua Vampire. Oops, that sucks. I shouldn't have been using those. Oh well. It's okay. A homebrew demo with Clock the Saturn. God, the Saturn. Anna? Hmm? Where are you? Oh, there she is. No, I don't know. Maybe this wasn't the first. I thought I was pretty sure this game was the first at something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just like combining all these things is what it did first. Whoa! Good job. She missed a lot. She usually doesn't. She usually just slaughters things. I like all the random enemies on the rooftops, though. Either way, even if it wasn't the first at any of that stuff, it's still an impressive game for 1999. It was on PC. Yeah, I don't know how hard it was to run either. It might have been really hard to run. In 99, probably was. Are you friend or foe? We are uh, not your foe. Well, I mean, no. then, greetings. Uh, welcome to the fair village of Falkenberg, strangers. I am the village mayor. Uh, what might I call you? Uh, I am Svetlana Lupescu. Stranger is fine. Very well. I have no idea how you found our little village. It matters not, I suppose. You should return now the way you came. You are both in Jack. terrible danger. What? You mean these creatures? We can handle ourselves. Was this the crisis of but 99? Don't you see? It is only a matter of time before can you an run army Nocturne? of those things is sent to replace those you have slain. Please leave. It will benefit no one for two more people to suffer as our town suffers. We didn't come this far to be dissuaded by one man's opinion. Tell us what you know and keep it brief. You can worry about our safety later. A great evil has befallen us. You've seen some signs of that evil here. The oppression from Castle Gaustadt has become more and more severe since this we, castle they reuse our people in, uh, settled Blood in this Rain. valley after the bloody reign of Andronicus Cominus. Andronicus? Andronicus ruled in the 12th century. Impressive. You know our history well. Our people have been here a long time, and each year our village falls deeper into ruin. I feel we've only a few years left. And because of your actions today, we might have even less time. I'm Count surprised Boyd this is not on good old games. Sins upon this innocent town when he Seems like a good candidate have been for slain. it. Count Voiku? He is the master of Castle Gaustadt, beyond the forest on the mountain that overlooks this valley. Tell us about this count. He is not a normal man, is he? What do you mean? He's a vampire, is he not? 
The well, vampire? Yes, that is rumored to be so. Why would you suspect? Is this so easy to run? I um, can smell it. And there were bite marks on a man outside this village. Man? What man? He didn't tell us his name. He Someone made an installer that works really well. Did he say anything else? That's all. But without that, How it's did a he pain. Escape? The sentinels don't let us wander from town. But that's Apparently, what good old games is for. Apparently, he hid in a coffin with a corpse and was buried outside of town. How clever. Well, at least one person has escaped the Count's iron grip. If that madman truly is a vampire, think of the horrors he must be inflicting upon our think children. Think of the horrors. Your children? Over the past year, the Count has taken all of our daughters. All of them? what vile purpose, we can only guess. Yeah, if you take we all of them, that means there's going to be no more kids too many and too for strong. the next... Now like, he's going to kill off his food supply by taking all safe. of them. Never. This is our home. We may die defending it, but we will not run like cowards. We are proud people. And if we leave, our daughters will surely die. Surely die. I will not ask I you fear. to involve yourselves in this horror. But it's obvious that you are capable warriors. If you offer your help, we will accept it. But we will not leave this town. We'll discuss the matter with this Count Voiku. If we can't reason with him... We will kill him. A humble village appreciates your help. I pray for the sake of our town and our children... But you are successful. I would assume some pre-rendered background games used ray tracing, but I don't know. And, I, and you know, like, movies probably used ray tracing. This game does the thing where you do have to talk to people multiple times, though, to get all the info. Tell us what you know about Count Voiku and Castle Gestalt. Tell us what you know. I know nothing. Nothing. Danger. You cannot interrogate these people like criminals. You are scaring them even more. I swear, you have the social skills of Attila the Hun. Why don't you let me... I like how the vampire is the only one with any social skills and the stranger has none. Do you know anything that might help? Watch out for wolves. Wolves? The forest north of here is teeming with them. Some people say they are actually werewolves. Werewolves? There was a man who lived in there the forest a man? long ago. He might still be there. This guy's he voiced by Kermit. Named Yuri. He's probably the only man alive who could survive out there. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can tell you. Nothing. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can tell you. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can tell you. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can tell you. Yeah, Kermit changing yeah, Kermit voice. I mean he's just changing his voice so we wouldn't recognize him. HJ. A humble village appreciates your help. I pray for the sake of our town and our children. But you are successful. A humble village appreciates your help. I pray for the sake of our town and our children. But you are successful. What was the quick save button? That was apparently sound. F2. F3. No, wait. F6, F9. Okay. There we go. Like lighting like this, I don't think we saw much of in the '90s. Like when I look, when I go through Svetlana here, look at that. I mean, 
did any other games do this? I don't know. Did, like these kind of shadows in the 90s? Oh, my battery died though. There goes the battery. Deus Ex. Now we have rain. Yeah, we got rain. We got the breath. We got the light. Like, it's just a lot of things happening for a 90s game. You know? That's all. Like, I mean, it is PC, obviously. So, I mean, you wouldn't see this on a console game. There's other PC games that were impressive, but... The smell of their vaults is overwhelming they are all around us. Why don't they attack? Mm, they are toying with us, surrounding us. They will attack soon. They will. They will attack soon. I actually don't even remember this rain being here before. Maybe, was it? I guess it always was, probably. They will attack soon. Steak. Three is that. Five is that. Poke, poke, poke. Ever quit. Well, sure. Yuri, but... we have come from village Falkenberg. Yeah, it didn't have. We're traveling to Castle Gostad. I'm just talking about graphics detail. Like Ultima Online was before that, and it required, you know. The smell of life is fresh here. Someone was here recently, but he is gone now. Someone was here, but he's gone. Easy to get lost in this place, too, though. Hello? There is fall damage, so I'm trying not to, like, fly down the stairs. Rain does. Yeah, I don't know why rain. I don't know why they decided she takes damage from water. This one doesn't. Yuri, we have come from village Falkenberg. We are traveling to Castle Gostad. Please come in. These woods are dangerous. Yuri. Traveling to Castle Gostad, you choose a poor place to visit. Count Voiku does not welcome guests. We've come to stop, Count Voiku. I don't know if her blades are supposed to sparkle like that, that though. They probably aren't. My mastery is over the forest. If I thought I stood a That's probably a glitch. Him, I would have traveled to the castle years ago and killed the Count myself. I'm safe from him here. He avoids the forest and the werewolves that live here. In an ironic way, I owe those beasts my life. My people once were gypsies, well versed in the darker arts. One of our talents was the art of skinwalking. When we first fell under Voiko's thumb, a troop of our bravest men volunteered to wear the skin of the wolf and take to the forest to protect us from the Count. Eventually, he learned to make the winged ones that can pass over the forest instead of through it. 
The man wolves grew restless, hungry. I locked it at After 60. Centuries of walking as beasts. It would go up to like 2,000 and make a mess. To us and grew feral. Our once warriors began to stalk us. They became as great a threat to us as Voiko himself. Now, only I survive. Those of my people not devoured by the wolves were taken by the vampires. The wolves. Take whatever traps and medicines you think you can use. The traps can be used repeatedly. They are not lethal, but they can slow down the fiercest of beasts. Beware the traps I've hidden throughout these woods. Some are very lethal, and they do not discriminate between man and beast. <laughs> they were just walking into each other, apparently. They the, Sometimes in cutscenes, their pathing gets totally screwed. Crossbow boat. An axe. Crossbow. If you don't talk to the guys at the beginning enough, I think you can't get this. Oh, wait. No, that's not right. I think you can, but... No, actually, I don't know. Maybe... No, I'm pretty sure you can still. I think he tells you about this, though. Yeah, so sh sh yeah, sh she's the inspiration for Blood Rain. I'm not sure what happened, like, to for them to lose the rights to Nocturne itself when they made Blood Rain, but or if they even did lose the rights, they m I think they did. It's the same developer as Blood Rain. But I'm not sure why they didn't continue Nocturne exactly. Because I know that they for sure wanted to. I, I'm pretty sure of that, but. It might have just been Nocturne didn't sell well enough. I'm not sure. Could have been something else too. Yeah, they did with Blair Witch, but after that they did Blood Rain instead of, you know, a Nocturne game with. Svetlana or whatever, you know? And they didn't keep Nocturne as part of Blood Rain. They could have still made Blood Rain and had it be part of the Nocturne universe, you know? Twap. Hello? It can be a bit hard to figure out where you can go sometimes in this game. <laughs> but you can do this. If you need to. And it's dark enough. Whoa! Uh. Help me, Svetlana. Yeah, but I think they were trying to build like a, in this case, pretty sure they were trying to build like a world or whatever. Ah.
got jumped. At least Svetlana's here. You also have like tons of ammo types and weapons in this game. It's a little overwhelming, I suppose. Bullets. Wait. I saw my auto aim move. There you are. Bastard, what the hell? Where am I? Yeah, I have auto heal on though. You kind of have to. I mean, you don't have to, but there's too many buttons if you don't do like auto heal. I think there's like there's just a lot of buttons in this game. Lens flare, yep. Lens flare ninety It's actually pretty crazy how well it does control for like a uh, fixed camera kind of thing. I mean, the auto aim is pretty, pretty generous, but you can turn the auto aim off, but that seems like it'd be suicide. Oh, he hit me. What the hell? Hmm. Where am I? Well, Blair, there's a Blair Witch game that's a sequel to this. Ow. Bastard. What do you think of you? And like all the the three Blair Witch games that came out in two thousand, all use this engine. This bridge doesn't look too safe. I think we should try to find another way across. 
another bay. Can I go this way? I can make the jump, but I doubt you can. Looks like you'll have to try your luck with the bridge. I will see you on the other side. But but what if I fall? Whoa! Oh yeah, the old well, okay. The second Blair Witch game from the old ones is really it's pretty bad, but the first one is way better than is the best Blair Witch game. Which is, the first one's the sequel to this. But this game has one stupid thing in it, and that is jumping. I don't even really know how you tell which ones are, like, how do you tell? Well, I think I'm dead. Like, I don't even know how to tell which boards are safe. The second one is horrible. Like, it's just go forward. Like, it's, there's no... What if I, you know, one thing I didn't think of. Nope, apparently that doesn't do anything. It's like, maybe I could shoot them. Cause you can free aim, but like, I can do this too. But like, I still don't see a way to really tell which boards are bad. You know? Oh well. Just keep saving, I guess. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, it's this part's a little goofy. People. I mean, it could just be that the dark ones are safe, except for like that the beginning, the two lighter ones at the very beginning are safe as well, but. That might be what it is. That's probably what it is. Because what I think what threw me off is the two light ones at the very start are, are safe. <laughs> All this resolution stuff would crash OBS when I was doing one PC setup. I, I hit jump, I swear. One good thing about Blair Witch is they remove jump. Well, two PC setup is actually way easier. Like, there's so many less problems because OBS doesn't explode. Yeah, there are cases designed for two PCs. I think it would be the easiest would actually be a laptop. Because that also has a keyboard and a mouse built in. So you don't need two keyboards and you don't or you don't need a switch or whatever. You know? There is a way around this issue with the, the resolution 
shifting, but well, you can put it in software mode. It just doesn't look as good. So like a one PC setup, you can run, you can stream this in software mode. But definitely not hardware mode because OBS hates resolution changes when it's doing a capture. Like it hates it. Like it can't, it can't do it. It just crashes. Hmm, what a mansion. Let's split up and search this place. Be careful, stranger. There's also mini PCs, you know. I mean, I'm just using a regular PC because, you know, I upgraded, so I have the other old one. But... This castle's in Blood Rain. Mercury Bullet Ordinance. <laughs> like, this game almost has as many ammo types as freaking Tarkov. It's weird. Guys, well, got really good atmosphere too, and stuff. You know, this game's just amazing for the time. Whoa, that was loud! What the hell, man? I think it's Ziggurat that had redid that. Well, that, that did the remasters of Blood Rain, but I don't know. Actually, I'm not really sure. Because when those remasters of Blood Rain just showed up out of nowhere, I assumed that there must be a reason behind that. Like, maybe something is happening with Blood Rain, but who knows. See, three is dish. Two is dish. Blessed crossbow bolt, 70. Okay. Or. And that's the stick. Okay. The auto aim is cool, though. Like, he'll take. He'll, like, because he'll aim the two guns in different directions. Bastard. Yeah, but you would think Blood Rain, like, has potential for revival as far as dead franchises go. Because they've got a very recognizable lead. And most people have at least heard of it. This statue. Gotta bait him or something. I don't really... It'll wake up eventually, but. But Nocturne's concept for a franchise is, for a horror franchise, is really good. With the whole secret society, you could make games off that pretty easily. In different time periods and stuff. Which over here? Tomb Raider did what first? Well, Tomb Raider was never dead.
it's been weakened, but it was never dead, you know? I mean, but Tomb Raider was, like, massive at, like, at one point. Oh, double pistols in different directions. I mean, Code Veronica. But it doesn't make any sense when you're actually... Ma it, it only makes sense with auto-aim. It doesn't make sense with manual aim. Because then you'd have to have one of the one hand auto aim, you know. You'd still have to have one hand like, or something, you know. Like once once you don't when you don't do fixed camera, or some kind of auto aim, the two guns don't really just they just don't make as much sense anymore. I mean, you could hold two guns, but they'd aim the same way. Where's that guy going? Sometimes these guys run away. They also don't always die when they die. Like, you know, vampires, the the stake is good. Stuff like that. I shouldn't be doing this. What am I doing? You can get him to permanently die, but I usually have to knock him with the right weapon. I mean, they'll eventually die to whatever, but... Statue pushing. Yeah, I did it. Holy relic. Hello? Hello? Statue doesn't want to stand up. Little gargoyle. Get him. Well, there's also dismemberment in this game, which is neat. Not enough blood. Need more blood. More blood. Stay down. Oh, there's some gargoyles. Hey, they got up. Yay. Some of these camera angles are kind of death traps, though. <laughs> it's like you're so far away or it's such a weird angle. Then there's falling damage in this game as well. A dining room. Hello? Oh. Ma'am? Uh oh.
Yay, blessed crossbow bolts. Vampires get shredded by the crossbow, but they take forever to kill with the gun. Well, at least, unless you use the merc, like certain bullets, but. Oh, I can break that. Can I go through it? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything there, really. It's kind of funny. The light is still reflecting off. Look at the, what the heck. Wow. Ray tracing. Hmm? Hello? No, oh, no. What's happening? I don't know if these guys... These guys don't seem to care about the crossbow. I guess they're werebats. Do you think they're werebats, not vampire bats? I don't know. Something like that. Who knows? Hello? Oh, now I'm here. I went all the way around and opened the shortcut. Oh, these traps. I never use those. Doctor bags. Six doctor bags. That's it? Okay, that's not a huge amount, I guess. The mirror didn't reflect the vamp. Well, that's good. Like, it, I kind of killed the vamps fast. I wasn't really looking at the mirror. But it's cool that it reflected, like, the light as well as, uh, I mean, obviously it reflected the player, but the, the, the flashlight, too. Like, yeah, the worst thing about this game is when they make you platform. Like, that was a mistake. Definitely a mistake. I didn't die, but I'm still going to reload. Actually, I don't even know if I want to go that way. I think I don't need to. I think I can go... Well, wait a minute. Because I think if I go this way, that's going to lead that way. Running downstairs can be deadly because you can just go fall too far fa fast and just fall. Oh, there goes his arm. Oh, God. You still... Your feet were still moving, but you're... Whatever. Hey. Dark oil. 
two more gargoyles. Hello? Who's there? Oh, hello. I think this is the room I fell into. Yeah. Gargoyle. <laughs> Poor guy. Gets back up. No idea what happened. Loses another body part. Where am I? Got some loot. Bullets, good. Tonic. Yeah, in this game, if you sprint down like staircases, you'll just you'll probably go flying. Hello. Look at that shadow, though. Like nineteen ninety. Like that's pretty good. The hell enemy saw me. Need the right key. Uh -oh. Well, damn it. What the? Hmm? Whoops. Oh, here's the dining room. Or not the dining room. Some other room. I don't know. Well, I guess they can all be dining rooms. Oh, that, that's what we open when we grab that thing. A while ago. What room is this? Oh, a dining room. Uh, meat room, I guess. A dining room. I'm moving. Hey. door here? There is. Some of the camera angles are weird. Like, you can't, like, tell where you can go. It's... But whatever. Ooh. 
more bullet. Uh, tonic. I think that it's not the most useful thing, the night vision, but like it is kind of crazy because to see first person in a game that's pre-rendered, even though it's like scaled back, detail, 3D, there's like no detail really, but... A green grid. Well... There's probably like some sort of wireframe whatever you call it, in the background, you know, that these pictures are on top of. Like the whatever, the 3D... I don't know, there's some kind of layer that would be where you would overlay everything, I would think, but... Jesus! What is this? What is this? It's Nocturne. A key. Key to the tower. A note? Can I read note? How do I read note? Potion note. I can read note. The monsters are upon us. There's no escape. Their leader cannot be harmed by any methods we have employed. My only hope is to retrieve the holy staff from its hiding place beneath the church. Pray that the power of God will slay that hell-born beast. What well, we found that. I found the 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 that weapon thingy. Why'd we split up with so to look around? Because it's a horror game. You're supposed to split up. It's more effective. Yeah, that's why I wonder, like, why, like, even though they made Blood Rain, why didn't they just keep Spook House? I mean, why did they go with the Brimstones to say, like, just change everything? I mean, like, oh god. That one's a vampire of some kind. Hello? It looks like you can walk out there. You can't. That's 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 a fall. <laughs> Bell tower key. No, that was earlier. We then got back together when we got to the castle. And then we split up. No, that was the reason we had to jump across the hell bridge. The platforming bridge, you know? Was she can jump and we can't. But then when we got here, we just split up because, you know... Svetlana, do you need any help? I don't need help. You're the one who needs help. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Crazy bitch. Huh? She 
she's not the woman you knew before. Oh. Who the hell are you? <laughs> to serve my master, I need no name. What do you know about her? The Dampier? She's been changed like all the others. Huh? How did you know she was half vampire? The Count has taken particular interest in her ever since the two of you arrived. Her special abilities will be of great use to him. Well, thanks for There's telling no me all way this. She'd ever serve a man like the Count. Believe me, she is not the woman you brought here. When the Count takes a woman as his bride, she changes. She belongs to him now. Nothing doing. She leaves with me. As long as the Count lives. None of his brides will leave. Huh? With you, or anyone else. Very well, then. Don't be a fool. You can't kill him. He's immortal. If you only knew how many immortal creatures I've killed. <laughs> Someone comes. Huh? Nope. Bye, dude. Thanks for telling me everything. What the... Ah, oh, hell. guys it's pretty cool special book Guess I'll leave them all up there. I don't think you want to jump down that. I mean, I could try. What is this anyway? It's a bell tower, right? Yeah, I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> There's something you can catch on the way down, but not really sure. It kind of looks like it. I don't know if that's a shadow, though. You know, like right, see that window. Maybe. I mean, it's definitely something you don't need to do, because I've never done it. But it seems possible. Anything? I don't even know if there's anything up here, but... And I don't think there is. This game also has it so you can be either pushed to walk or pushed to run, which is a feature I think like every game should have. You rarely see it. So like, I only hold a button down when I'm walking instead of... Because you're running way more than you're walking, so it makes sense to just be pushed to walk, not pushed to run. Yeah, okay, so there uh, maybe you could have, but like it's just right here. So there'd be no point. 
But I suppose it was possible. Potentially to jump through to that window. Jesus. We almost walked off the edge. <laughs> These camera angles sometimes. Cinematic, and I guess. Sort of. Where are you going? Get back here. Is this a place? No. Not a place. Unless it's a door. Is it a door? Are you a door? No, you're not a door. I think I still have to do something in the castle with that book. Is that a pit? Do I need to jump? Yeah, I did. No, maybe I didn't. Uh, no, I don't think we needed to jump there. Don't shoot! I'm a human! Well, Mark, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Restorative tonic. Have you played this? This game's wild. Oh, this game's good. Mostly good, anyway. With some weird things. It's a... For 1999, it's really impressive. Welcome, everybody. This is Nocturne. The coolest Resident Evil clone no one's seen. What the hell? To camera. There we go. Are you on the table? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's trying to run away. Sometimes they do that. No, not this way. I think... Oh yeah, I haven't been in here. I don't think. I don't have the key though. 
No key. Okay, thanks for the follow. No, 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 no. Right. Yeah. There's a pretty good installer for it now. It's absolutely, it doesn't look like a mouse and keyboard game because it's a fixed camera game, but it is absolutely a mouse and keyboard game. Like, I don't, playing it without that, and even then you still need auto aim. Yeah, the only thing is like, with single PC you'd have to set it in like software mode. So OBS doesn't explode. Hey! Gargoyle. OBS hates resolution changes, and it's an old game, so it changes resolutions a lot during certain transitions. If you're in hardware mode, but if you're in software mode, it doesn't. It just doesn't look as good. Yeah, it sort of has a sequel, a Blair Witch game. Maybe I do need to go over here. The only downside to this one is basically it does have some platforming. Oh, right, this is where I need to go, but I didn't mean to fall there. The third Blair Witch game was decent. The second one was terrible. The Blair Witch, they took off the, out the platforming. Or the jump button, anyway. See, where I want to go is through there. I think. Ow, and I still took damage. Yeah, the stranger is in the first play. This guy shows up in Blair Witch. Hmm. Whoa. Dun -dun. Trust the balcony. Oh, this is the shortcut back here. You're in here twice, twice the pizza. Look, cloth physics. Whoa. And lens flare. And like actual shadows. In 1999, before the Dreamcast, which. Like, Co Veronica had like puddle shadows. Bag. Bullets. What's this? Nothing? Huh. <laughs> Is 
Is that a key? It is. Dungeon key. What? That damaged me? Why? Why did hitting the armor damage me? What the hell? It was heavy? Oh. I guess. The stranger is... Yeah, yeah. Like, when you get lit on fire, that's the worst. He doesn't know what to do. What the hell? Whoa! Shattered. Yeah, the, these are vampires. They don't like the blessed crossbow bolts. Some kind of vampire. Thrall or something. Hello? Where's Svetlana go? She's right now she got possessed by um the bad guy, so we gotta kill him to help her. And everyone else, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to examine the painting, and there was nothing you can't. What the? Hello? What the? Nothing back here. Hello? One of us. Hello? Jesus. There is some like weird secret thing that can happen in this part, but I don't know if it's safe for Twitch. But I don't know how to do it anyway.
The way those like died with the fire and all that, that was pretty cool. One bullet? What the hell, man? One bullet. One bullet. Why? No, I got more than one bullet. It's just that chest had one bullet. One bullet. One bullet. Again. Hello? One bullet. Yeah, I saw something about this game. There's like a naughty Easter egg in these hallways, but getting it is weird. It's like cryptic because you're not supposed to find it. And I don't actually know how to find it. But if anyone feels like looking it up for themselves, they can. Yeah, but that one has sensor bars. The one in this game... I mean, this game already has nudity, but, like, the one in this game is, uh, different. <laughs> Where am I? Maybe I'll link it, find it later and put it in Discord or something. I, like, I don't actually know how to do it. I think we just go down now, because I have the dungeon key. Dungeon key. Okay, where am I? For some of the scenarios, one of them I don't like, and that's Chicago. I like three of the four scenarios. Onward. What the?
Maybe like a lever or something, right? My flashlight died. Oh, there it is. I'm running into it. I'm just blind. Bats. Only difference between this and Resident Evil Zero is you can actually aim at things. I don't think you have to kill these bats. I don't think these bats will bother. Maybe they do. They kind of get in your way of your jumps. Yeah, they don't attack you. They just body block you. Okay, stop flying around me. Stop it. They just follow you. Okay, what's... Quite Edgar. Whoa! Hi, guys. The audio, like, the closer it is to, like, like, it gets louder the closer it is to, like, uh, you are to, like, the camera. <laughs> or the, uh, the sound is to the camera, which can make for some weird things. Some moments where it gets really loud. No, I'm just holding down the shoot button. Dungeon key. Ooh, crossbow board. Another box over here, though. Bullets. Hey. Oh, 
Uh, oops. I forgot how that works. I think I just run forward to dodge it to where the key is. Some of the traps in this game are weird. That's why a quick save is good. Yeah. Got the key. Stop getting back up. Really trying to get fancy with the camera angles. But it's so weird how you can do this. The first person with the night vision. Whoa. Samish. Who the hell is Samish? Dude, that lever is hard to see. Duh! Oh, it's just water. I can't. Perspective, huh? Sorry. It's a big axe. Some gargoyles here. Ugh. 
Yeah. Corbett, thanks for 16 months. Hello. Oh, it's bats. Under twenty bullets. Uh, some kind of whatever thing. What's this? I don't know. Need to bring something here. Hooray! The best thing. Fixed camera platforming. True terror. Oh, those are vampire ladies. Precious gem. So precious. Here we go again. Ugh. Go stranger. We did it. This has a lot of Resident Evil Zero music, and it's also got a giant bat boss.
But it came out first. Of Count Void. Uh, not me. Giant bat. The difference is you can aim in this game. Or one difference, I guess. Ow. This also got crazy flute. Yeah, crazy flute, man. <laughs> Okay, what was the frickin... No, this thing. Stabby. Kaboom! No, <laughs> the tort, the... Jesus. Yeah, this would have been a tough one to run in 99. Where am I? Wait, is there something, another direction here, though? Thought there was. That's back. Do I go, or maybe we do go back. We may. I guess we go back. There's just kind of a lot going on in general in this game for, like, PCs back then. Any, like, one effect on its own is probably not too bad, but... Oh god! Stop whispering nice things.
Hmm. Guess we're fine. It's a lot of blood, though. Look at the. <laughs> What the? Please let me go. I'll do anything. Just let me go. Anything? Leave. Did you taste the Count's blood? I don't know. Did you taste his blood? I, I don't know what you mean. Very well. I won't hurt you. I'll take you back to Falkenberg. Uh, Falkenberg? Yes. Your home. I'm not from Falkenberg. The mayor? What do you know of the man in this portrait? I've never seen him before. Stranger, what are you doing? I'm about to kill you. Are you out of your mind? How many times do I have to tell you that being half vampire doesn't make me evil? You sound like you're back to normal now. Almost. I feel like I've been kicked in the head. My ears are ringing. I had to fight off the Count's influence, and it wasn't easy. I vaguely remember talking to him, but it's all a blur. He drove his own will into my mind. His will? Controlled me like a puppet. I've never had my mind taken over like that before. He was extremely powerful. Not powerful enough. It's ironic that you saved me, considering our past. We have no past. <laughs> Try as you might, you can't forget everything. I can. If you say so. Shall we be off? It looks like we've managed to save at least one of the villagers. I don't think the sickles are That's supposed to name. sparkle like Logia. that. Come with us. Your parents in Falkenberg will be delighted to see you. I'm not so sure about that. She's not from Falkenberg. In fact, I don't think anything the mayor told us was the truth. Oh. Look at this portrait. The mayor of Falkenberg? I think he's held other titles in the past. I knew it. I thought the scent of vampires was too strong in that town. I assumed that the Count and his minions had left that smell. Huh. It makes perfect sense now. What makes perfect sense? The mayor is the true lord of this castle. What the hell? Count was his son. Was? The old vampire and his retainers must have been banished to Falkenberg. Exiled from his own kingdom and herded with werewolves. Werewolves? The crazy man we met outside the village wasn't escaping from just the sentinels. He was escaping from the townsfolk themselves. They are vampires and he was meant to be their food. An entire town of vampires held captive by the Count? Why didn't he just kill them all? I don't know. Perhaps I can explain. You made a huge mistake in showing yourself, now that I know who you are. Clever girl, this one. Clever girl. I thought she might have been a dampier when she first came into the village. I thought for sure she would detect us. But she never puts the clues together. So, I was right. The Count was your son. Yes, that insolent bastard. Now that you've killed him, my people and I can return home to this castle. Stranger, put your guns away. You know I have no sense of humor. I'm not joking, stranger. You'd be wise to do as your friend says. I have no friends. <laughs> then you would be wise to no make No friends. One. The reason my son did not kill me was because he did not know how to properly utilize the Yatki. Until I revealed its secret to him, he knew he could not kill me. But I would not give up that secret easily. The Yathki. Yes, now that it's back in my control, things can return to normal around here. My son managed to separate me from the Yathki long enough to overpower me. I've spent the past hundred years waiting for the misused power of this stone to destroy him. Thank you for accelerating the process. My followers and I have tried to reclaim the castle by force on a number of occasions. You might have seen the aftermath. Yeah, sickles are probably supposed to look like this. And this castle, 
and beyond my son's resistance, the werewolves of the forest interfered with our attempts as well. There were times when three separate forces met in those accursed woods. Just seems it You've reflects or yourself something weird in some if areas. You me a human, I'd ask you to join me. As it is, I would be honored if this lady were to join my ranks. No thanks. I have other obligations. A foolish choice, my dear. Now I suppose there's nothing left for me to do but kill you. <laughs> but since you have helped me to regain my castle and the Yatki, I'll overlook the fact that you have killed my minions and the brides I have taken the past millennium to collect. You are free to leave this castle. Take with you this pitiful girl child my son failed to make his own bride. But know that if you ever set foot in this house again, you will belong to me. Thank you, kind sir. What about the stone? The stone stays, stranger. We leave. Now. Not until our mission is complete. Stranger, you cannot see the things that I see. You must simply trust me when I say that his offer to leave must be taken. His son, the Count, was a frail degenerate compared to him. So our mission is a failure? Not necessarily. I doubt this man will make the same mistake twice. He will not allow another to overthrow him. And whether the Yatki is locked in Spookhouse's basement or in this vampire castle, we at least know where it resides. But he's a blood-sucking vampire. As soon as we leave, he'll be out looking for more food and new brides. Innocent humans will have their lives torn apart. We'll deal with him when the time is right. But there's nothing the two of us can do about it now, alone. Throwing ourselves at him would be suicide, so calm down. Besides, you already got to kill a really powerful vampire today, so cheer up. Mm. Look, the random woman following us. Saying, what? What's going on? <laughs> That's the first episode. One second. I'll be right back. And we'll do the second one. I'm back. The leech sound? Yeah, it uses it a lot. But no, you can. You'll hear these. This. This track. These tracks or whatever this is. I don't know what it is. Where it came from, but. You'll hear it in a lot of games and probably movies, like some cheaper movies, I guess. And RE0. I must admit, I'm disappointed, gentlemen. Disappointed that you cleared red eye of zombies, but I've already received reports of continued zombie activities. Zombies, no leads on where those damn things came from. This guy's name is Scat for some zombies, reason, so I couldn't track down their source. We talked to everyone in Red Eye, and no one had a clue. Not everybody in that town survived, did they? We're going to have to send in another team. Or two. It's going to take a massive effort to wipe that place clean. It will be hard as hell to keep it from the public eye. You've let down this agency, man. Consider yourself oh. to leave until further notice. Funny. I didn't know that existed, and I actually ran the wrong thing. So that's what that two was. Okay. I ran the... This is, like, weird that I can... I did this Act 2B, so Act 2B is you law. Where's Act 2A then? Act 2. Oh, Act 2 starts on the train. So I don't know how it got broken up like this. No. Nah. Yeah, there's a, there's a game over, I guess, apparently, depending on how you do Act 2. I didn't know you could fail Act 2 like that. So, Act 2 starts at the train. 
Yeah, I don't know why this is broken up this way now, and the, this guy's installer. It's usually not. This is not how this list normally is. This should be the start, then? Choo choo. Oh, it's also got a train up, like the RE0. <laughs> okay. What's the situation? A sheriff in Red Eye, Texas, called in a strange request to the authorities in Chanford. The police in Chanford took it as a request for medical assistance, supposedly due to an outbreak of some unknown skin illness. Chanford sent a couple of doctors expecting to find some kind of minor skin fungus or similar malady. We, on the other hand, suspect that the sheriff's references to zombies and monsters weren't the hysterical ramblings of a small-town police officer. The Chanford doctors failed to report back after spending a day in the small town, so we're sending in our own doctors. Scat Dazzle is already in Red Eye. He'll meet us at the train station. Why so nervous? I fear that we may be in grave danger. It's our job to be in grave danger. <laughs> I think someone is following me. Who? I don't know. That's what frightens me. Normally I can feel the thoughts of anyone who focuses on me, but so far none of the people on this train have expressed any sort of hostility toward me, even in their thoughts. But I can feel the anger aimed at me. It's been boring into my brain since I left Virginia. You can't tell who it is? Where it's coming from? No. I can feel a general pressure all around me. There's no direction, or I could track the culprit down. I found this in my luggage. For the insidious crimes against my people. Your people will see ruin? What the hell does that mean? I have no idea. What people could we have ruined? I can't think of any people as such. But we've wiped out entire civilizations of monsters, vampires, werewolves, changelings. Perhaps a survivor of one of our horrorcide projects is seeking revenge. Whoa. Something's wrong. We're going too fast. Oh no, I can feel him. He's close. He's close. The one who's been following me. Oh my god, Stranger. It's... Oh god, no. Hmm? Oh no. They're werewolves. The werewolves. Damn. I wasn't expecting werewolves. If Hiram packed as extravagantly as usual, I bet I can find more appropriate weapons in his baggage. Noir. This is noir, right? This is what noir is, right? I, I never, I'm never sure I understand what it means. Ow, I didn't mean to fall. Damn it. Explosives. War. I don't know, but it always seems to be like 20s, 30s detective stuff, you know? And this is 20s, 30s. And one of the levels is Chicago. I don't know. So I assume... We got the... I don't know. It's definitely influenced by Noir, even if it's... Oh, look at this, this post, this calendar lady here. Whoa. And this one says, this poster says, think. That's a good idea. Well, we played that other, like, detective anime noir thing, or, like, uh, not too long ago. Yeah. 
40s, 50s. So 20s is too early for Noir. This goes to 40s. 20s to 40s is what this does. Verwoofs. It is just funny that, like, this game has, like, similar music to RE0, has a runaway train, has a giant bat, and it was made before RE0. It's just weird. Now we can ask questions. Choo choo. E kitty. Capcom should buy this this series and make some games. But why would they bother when they could just make another Resident Evil game? You know. Ah, the controls are destroyed. There's no way to stop the train. Can't stop the train. What the hell? People. Zero is a remake of this? I don't know about that, but... Wait. I do wonder if somebody who was involved with Zero or did stumble upon this game and play it, though. They, someone must have. It just seems likely. what I'm doing. Oh wait, I just I think we just used the axe to like get out of here somehow, but Oh the two char well no the two character thing doesn't really like you don't swap between you never play anyone but the stranger in this. You do meet some other characters, but like you don't really there's a, there's not that much of that, like Especially if you consider, like, RE0 was... ...actually in development before this came out originally, because it was originally an N64... ...project. Yeah. That guy's definitely a werewolf. They're all werewolves. So he couldn't detect where the anger was coming from because he was surrounded. Maybe that's what it was. The right key. Is this the right key? Oh, no, it's not. 
it's not the right key. Oh yeah, people are going to get really pissed at Capcom for that. They, uh, like, the DRM stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, they attract hackers' attention. Just, you know, out of spite or whatever, you know, like. Do I need to... He said something about that explosive, but I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. There's something here. I think. This is Hiram's trunk. Yeah. Damn. It's locked. And I'll bet Hiram has the key with him. That's what we do. I will avenge your death, Hiram. Poor Hiram. Hiram's meds. So I don't think we need the explosive. Am I going up the ladder sideways? Sure I am. Oh, that that DRM looks like garbage DRM too. Like it like their website looks sketchy. All they're doing is breaking their games for some people and stuff. Like, and like Steam Deck and stuff, you know? I don't know. So I still need the key. Or do I? Yeah, we do still need a key. Um, oh, wait. What do I have? What, what, what do I have? We got meds. Just have a bunch of meds. Was that all that was in there then? Yeah, am I supposed to do something with those explosives? I don't remember. I think there's something at the front of the train. What? Yeah, now it's now it's finding Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, I think. Instead of this Nocturne. Yeah, this is Vortex World in Japan. Can't you tell? No, uh, when we, when you say Nocturne, most people are gonna think should the Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. That's like the most known game that has the Nocturne in the title. Well, what's weird about what Capcom's doing is they're throwing that Enigma DRM into, like, old games for basically no reason. SMT3 Nocturne. Like, the mainline SMT, that's the only one I've played. Did they have to? No, they didn't have to do anything. Oh, it's called like a Dingma DRM. It seems like it's actually pretty cheap, and the website looks sketch. And apparently, been breaking some. They've been breaking some stuff. Stop the choo choo train. There's a key somewhere though. <laughs> yeah, they broke some games on Steam Deck. I mean, Valve will probably fix it. Because that's what Valve does, I guess. But still, it's stupid. I don't even know if they've really. Like, I, I don't think it's even going to prevent mods. It's just going to prevent, like. Or it might make break some old mods, but... Oh yeah, this, the new thing, new Chun-Li at a Street Fighter event 
like definitely triggered this, but I don't think they know what they're doing. <laughs> like they're not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm lost. Where's the key? Boo cat. Maybe I do need to do something with that explosive. I think I do. Yeah, so, so they might break some old mods on some old games, but with the, that Enigma thing, but Enigma's like garbage DRM, I think. I mean, all the most DRM is garbage, but like that's like um, think. I have to think. How do I think? Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, there are definitely crazier mods than that. But for to have anything like that show up at like a, an event is just like whoever's computer that was, that guy was an idiot. One cracker? Oh, explosive. I don't think there was a key. Okay, kaboom. Oh, I think I can jump across the rooftops or something somewhere. Is that what I can do? Maybe that's what I can do. The Blair Witch games use the same engine. I mean, the first Blair Witch game is the sequel to this. I feel like I th thought I broke through this door. I don't know why I thought that. It's just what I feel like I'm remembering, but maybe I'm just completely wrong. Guess not. I don't know why I thought I broke through that door with an axe, but... Your door lock warps and you. I think I just missed something. I'm just not sure what. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. That's what I, okay. You. You and all your kind will die. You shall not try to avoid it. You will not survive. Huh? That was the Alpha of the Hockendyer tribe. I had a feeling we didn't wipe them out completely back in 24. Back in 20. Oh god. Back in 24.
Not really sure. Guess not. Damn it. Yo. <sighs> There's music. Not constantly, but Was that guy? <laughs> okay. aren't you? You totally are. I knew it. They're all werewolves. The train was a trap. She's a werewolf. Werewolves. Hi hey guys. Something's going wrong with the rendering there. And I can't open anything. Stranger is strange. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Where the hell is this key? What have I missed? I kind of think it's the other way. I think I missed, like, um... Something at the front of the train, maybe? SMT3 was called, but it says Nocturne on my copy of SMT3. Yeah, so Shimmer Go Tensei 3 is called Nocturne.
But then this game is also called Nocturne. And it came out close enough to this game that I like it sh probably shouldn't have been. Yeah, you know the trademark should have caused something. I think. I missed the key somewhere. I don't remember this being a difficult to find object though. Whoa! Ow. Oh, I know. I think I know what it is. I didn't jump this. Yeah. Then I didn't go to this body over here. Hell games. They always ran slower. The engineer might have been able to stop the train. A key. Lufia? I played Lufia. The Super Nintendo. I used to think I did. I don't know. I didn't actually own it. I think I had a friend who did. I play like I didn't. Oh, oops! Almost fell. I used to like RPGs. Used to be like the game I game I played the most, especially JRPGs. But then like that changed at some point. RPGs and strategy. And then it kind of switched to... I think I might be in trouble. Ow! This ladder was bad. I should have went back up. Ow, ow, ow. Now that I have the key, I don't have to do crazy jumps. Fantasy Star. I think I played three and four. Shining Force. It's strategy, but still. Shining Force 2, yeah. Never played Shining Force 3, but that's because it was on the Saturn. So basically nobody played it, except in Japan. I guess the Saturn actually sold well in Japan. Just nowhere else. side. It'll take more than a key to open this one. It's more than a key? I did it. That's what I remembered breaking down. They did? On the Saturn? I know the 3DO had those, oh, like, oh, oh, adult stuff. I feel less insulted knowing that it was you who destroyed my trial. When I have built a new trial, we will honor your death on this day. But at a certain point, Saturn games stopped leaving Japan, you know? So... What the... Ow! Oh, panic. Oh, 
What the? Run, stranger. Whoa. He'll be fine. That's totally survivable, whatever. <laughs> Just jump off the speeding train. I mean, Jill does it in RE3 original, right? She's like, it's useless, and then just like crashes through the window out of the train or whatever. <laughs> Dear Lord, are you okay, son? I'm fine. I assume you must be Scat Dazzle's partner. Where is he? I don't know how to tell you this, but he has passed on. What happened? Please, we can't stay out here. For the sort of people who like that sort of thing, that's the sort of thing they like. He's dead. Scat is dead. What's the shovel for? I used to dig graves with it, but it seems all the graves I've dug for the past 20 years weren't deep enough to hold the people I laid to rest. You mean the dead walk? Zombies. Look, I guess in your line of work this may not be disturbing, but it's a little bothersome to me. In the past week, I've seen people rise. Oily rag. Been dead for I like years. oily rag. I've seen people I knew when they were alive come back from the dead. But they're not the same. They're monsters. And the shovel? Hmm? Oh, now the only use I have for this thing is as a weapon. It's not in my nature to kill, mind you, but these things are already dead, and they're evil. I'm sure the good Lord doesn't have anything against me knocking their heads off. That seems to be about the only way to put them down for good. He died guarding the church. He'd hold up on the roof and shot anything that came this way that wasn't human. Something went wrong, and the roof collapsed. He'd said that you were coming to assist him, so I went to meet you when I heard the train coming. He's dead. I checked. Not for long. Huh? Damn. I need rum. I have some scotch. That won't work. I need rum. There's a saloon in the middle of town, but this really isn't the time. Yes. It is. <laughs> Stranger's great. There's a saloon in the middle of town, but this really isn't the time. Yes, it is. Well, Svetlana inspired Blood Rain, and the Brimstone Society is basically Spook House. And this guy voiced somebody in Blood Rain. Some spook or some brimstone guy. What the? Bonk. Bonk. even back here. It's like just a bunch of graves. Zombies. <laughs> Bonk. I don't know if I've ever really ran around back here. Doesn't seem like a good idea though. Yeah. I think where'd my head go? This is a pretty good dismemberment for ninety nine as well, like This is one of those games where I th think a lot of other people who play the same games I play would wanna play it, but I can't get anyone to play it. Oh. 
I mean, it was it is a little hard to get working. Oh god, he threw an it threw an arm at me. What the hell, zombie? Why did the zombie throw an arm at me? Smitties. Zombie dog. Okay. Wait. Stop. Stop that. There's no rum here. I can't revive scat without rum. Oh, my bad. Rum first. Dracula Resurrection. I think I got like all the Dracula point and click games. That's one of those, right? I think I got those on good old games. I need my shovel back. I didn't mean to put that down. Okay. Actually, you know what? Put it down. Can't use my flashlight with that. Can I have this? Bottle of room. Hexen? Hexen was all right. He was... <laughs> The wizard version of Doom. I got the rem. I did it. You might want to turn away. I suspect your religious sensibilities might be offended by what I'm about to do. Okay. Rise the child. Legendary stranger, the man of mystery. You know, your dark past is not so secret in my realm. I know all about you. I don't know if Hexen would be a good idea. I don't Just revive think so. And be on your way. Easy man. Don't Easy man. Who you're dealing with. You have your cigar. You have your rum. All the blood you need is in a pool beneath your host. Do your business and be off. <laughs> Pray, Pray you never, never owe me a favor. favor. What, what happened? You died. Again. Again? You used your powder to summon Baron Samadhi. He revived you. Hey, thanks. There are still people out there. I've heard them crying for help. Find them and bring them here. I still feel a little weak. But I can stay here and guard this place. Once I feel a little stronger, I'll come out and help you. Very well. There are a couple of farmhouses on the other side of town. I, I haven't had the courage to go there myself, but the, the Jenkins and the Smiths were alive the last time I saw them. I'll bring them back. And anyone else I find. Yeah. Well, I, uh, Hiram, yeah, like this guy has some deal with Baron Samidi, but pretty sure Haram does not. Can you or the Baron do anything about these zombies? They're not voodoo zombies. None of my magic works against them. The only way to stop them is brute force. Detach their brains from their bodies. Whatever dark influence hangs over this place has energized the motor control areas of their brains. There's no consciousness in these things, just half-remembered abilities like walking and eating. Hmm. Sounds like zombies.
The train. What's this? Oh. And if Resident Evil had figured out this combat system, or copied it or something, it could have been interesting. Because it allows for much more crazy enemies. Like, Ari's, like you know, the flying enemies in RE0 wouldn't have been an issue. Black Dahlia? Um, that's by the... Same people do Ripper, but I haven't played it. It doesn't look as good, though. I mean, there's no Christopher Walken. <laughs> that's all, that's actually all I got. There's no Christopher Walken. <laughs> Hey! Settle down. I'm here to help. Shoot at me again and you'll lose the other arm. I'm gathering everyone together in the church for safety. I'm safe enough right here. That door's locked and no one's gonna get in here. But you're wounded. I'll be fine. You can't even cock that shotgun, much less aim it with only one arm. Come with me and you'll be safe. I guess you're right. But I can't leave this cell. I don't have a key. The sheriff took it with him when he went to check on the saloon. Saloon? Now I'll just take this stuff then. Bullets. Meds. Oof. Sheriff was going over to the saloon to investigate some screaming. You might look for him there. Screaming. Sheriff, what happened? That was the sheriff. He didn't make it. Hello? Government. What? Get off me. Let me in. I'll take you to the church. You'll be safe there. How do I know you're not another one of those monsters? <laughs> because they don't offer to help? <laughs> oh, Jesus.
What the? Are you? Shattered. Gotta escort the survivors. You'll be safe in here. My hero. If we all survive this, come by sometime and uh, I'll return the favor. Thanks, lady. <laughs> uh, now let's get the sheriff. Got it. Thank you, sir. I like shotgun. Dude, get off me. Get off me. Oh my... What the... F Dude, I got like... I, they got destroyed. Damn. Well, I guess we can't always save everybody, can we? Hold on. Right, when did I last save? Here? I'm an idiot. I didn't save at all? God. I did not save. It's okay. I know what to do. It's fine. It's fine. Oops. This is why you should save. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't save for this long, no. I've been saving a lot in general. I guess because the zombie town is usually pretty easy, but... Save more often. The engineer might have been able to stop the train. Ah, a key. Key.
It is so hard to tell where you're going to jump sometimes. I don't even know if I can jump that, actually, because there's a little... But I did save. No, wait, I can jump. I need to jump this. Well, I don't have to jump this, but... Yeah, and this... That one I can't jump, because it's higher. Werewolves. I remember you two. Whoa! Didn't know you could do that. Hmm. That doesn't look right. It'll be fine, right? Nope, it's not fine. Ow. Oops. Later. I feel less insulted knowing that it was you who destroyed my tribe. When I have built a new tribe, we will honor your death on this day. My death. I don't know what to really do against this guy besides just tank it. We did it. We're back where we were before. Well, sort of. I'll need to get the rum again. Run, stranger. I need a new neck and shoulders. How do I do get new ones? How do I get replacements? Anyone know? Dear Lord, are you okay, son? I'm fine. I assume you must be Scat Dazzle's partner. Where is he? I don't know how to tell you this, but he has passed on. What passed happened? down? Please, we can't stay out here. Come with me, I'll explain on the way. What's the shovel for? I used to dig graves with it. But it seems all the graves I've dug for the past 20 years weren't deep enough to hold the people I laid to rest. You mean... The dead walk. So... Dead walk. Look, I guess in your line of work this may not be disturbing, but it's a little bothersome to me. 
In the past week, I've seen people rise from their graves who've been dead for a hundred years. I I've seen people I knew when they were alive come back from the dead. But they're not the same. They're monsters. And the shovel? Hmm? Oh, now the only use I have for this thing is as a weapon. It's not in my nature to kill, mind you, but these things Rise are already from dead, your... and they're evil. I'm sure the good Lord doesn't have anything against me knocking their heads off. That seems to be about the only way to put them down for good. He died guarding the church. He'd hold up on the roof and shot anything that came this way that wasn't human. Something went wrong, and the roof collapsed. He'd said that you were coming to assist him, so I went to meet you when I heard the train coming. He's dead. <laughs> I checked. Not for long. Damn. I need rum. Rum. I have some scotch. That won't work. I need rum. There's a saloon in the middle of town, but this really isn't the time. Yes. It is. <laughs> oh, stranger. Bonk. Got it. I got room. Let's go. might want to turn away. I suspect your religious sensibilities might be offended by what I'm about to do. Everyone's always offended by my raising the dead. I don't know why. Ah, the, the legendary, legendary stranger. stranger. The, the man, man of mystery. mystery. You know, your, your dark past, past is not so secret in my realm. realm. I know all about you. Fascinating. Just revive Scat and be on your way. Easy, man. Don't Easy man. forget who you're dealing with. You have your cigar. You have your rum. All the blood you need is in a pool beneath your host. Do your business and be off. <laughs> Pray, Pray you, you never, never owe me a favor. favor. What, what happened? You died. Again. Rise I from your, your power grave. To summon Baron Samity. Oh, good old you altered died. beast. Hey, thanks. Yeah, Simpler times. There. When you could just play a game where you just help. go right and punch Dev. Bring them here. I still feel a little weak. I can stay here and guard this place. Once I feel a little stronger, I'll come out and help you. Very well. There are a couple of farmhouses on the other side of town. I, I haven't had the courage to go there myself, but the, the Jenkins and the Smiths were alive the last time I saw them. I'll bring them back and anyone else I find. I'll go save the town. I'm the stranger. This time I'm going to keep saving, though, just in case, because apparently I might die. Die, spawn devil. 
Settle down. I'm here to help. Shoot at me again and you'll lose the other arm. I'm gathering everyone together in the church for safety. I'm safe enough right here. That door's locked and no one's going to get in here. But you're wounded. I'll be fine. You can't even cock that shotgun, much less aim it with only one arm. Come with me and you'll be safe. I guess you're right. But I can't leave this cell. I don't have a key. The sheriff took it with him when he went to check on the saloon. Bullets? Meds? I like how you can pick up body parts. <laughs> Through a foot. shoulder that's what I need I need to be not old why couldn't I have been born like I don't know 2006 or something <laughs> wait oh yeah that would be I guess yeah what the But whatever year you're born, you'll eventually reach a year where you would have gone to have been born later. What the hell? Oh dear! I, I have my never my found this guy before. Me. I'm here to help. You'll be safe in the church. Finish your business, and I'll take you there. Finish your. I've never found this guy before. What the? What a random camera angle. Well, okay. That's weird. High school. It's not. No, but I. I don't really want to do high school You're or an honest college. Hero. But you know that? Yes. Starting Ooh. over might not be too bad. Depends on what situation I start over with, though. But of course, if I started over, I wouldn't know I started over, because I would be starting over, so I wouldn't know anything, right? So I guess it wouldn't matter. I don't know. Huh? The sheriff! He didn't make it! Yeah, I could be born into like a horrible situation. Or I could be born a bazillionaire. What if they figured out how to transplant bodies or brains into new bodies? They're, they've got to be working on that. You know someone's trying. Take you to the church. You'll be safe there. How do I know you're not another one of those monsters? Uh, because they don't offer to help. <laughs> Run. I actually can't believe I found a survivor I've never found before. <laughs> Well, good thing I saved. I didn't expect a dog to just be sitting by that door. What the hell? She dies fast. I mean, they all die fast. I guess I won't open that door. We'll just go the back the way I came. It'll be safer. Probably.
Come on, lady. Whoa! Hold on. Stay back. Oh, that's a bad sound. Oh, I was using silver bullets. Well, I don't know what this one's doing, but, uh... <laughs> good thing he did that, I guess. Get over here. I'll get the sheriff later. I don't think I need silver bullets anymore, though. I don't think there's any more werewolves. I think it was just the train. That was probably not a big... Ah! Die! Freaking... Dude. Tanky. Let's go. Let's go. My hero. If we all survive this, come by sometime and uh, I'll return the favor. Oh. Yes, we will. Well, probably not actually, but you know. Is there anything in the other one? Did I even pick up the key? Yeah, I don't. Oily rag. I like oily rag. I still got a pistol. We got a shotgun. Ow. I might have a pistol, but he sure isn't using it. Saved another one. Hey, thanks for bringing me here. You're welcome. Good. I wonder if there's another survivor somewhere that I might have missed. Probably not, but... There's some weird camera angles in this game, so... What the hell, lady? It's possible. What the? He threw a body part at me. Bastard. Any loot? a trick. She's just kind of standing there. She was a zombie. I know that fruit anywhere. Oh god. She's eating him. Then she's gonna eat me. Oh my god. What's this? I got a foot. Throw the foot. Is 
Is this a door? No? What is this? It looked like a door. Are you not a door? What are you? Not door? Fake door. Are you sure you're not a door? No. Not a door. Not a door. That frickin' dog is still here. The zombo doggo. Arf. Zombo doggo. I go back here. Ray alarms. I don't think there's anything back here though. Oh here. But I can't yeah. I can't believe I never found this before. <laughs> There's just somebody in here. Like, oh wait, I thought you had to save everyone though. Maybe I have found it before and I'm just forgetting. Because I'm pretty sure you have to save everyone, don't you? Or maybe you don't have to save him. Maybe they just don't care about that guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to play Blair Witch after this game. This game is the longest one. So probably like... Oh god, zombie cow! Then the first and third, yeah, the second Blair Witch is bad, but it's short. Uh, third one's okay. Somebody's eating. Mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't been in here before either. Maybe I have missed stuff. Or there's also a fact that this game might be... Like, I don't know if I've ever played the game fully updated. What the hell was that? Where the hell did you come from? Because there were patches for this game that existed. Explosives? Yeah, I don't remember this room at all. What is this? Power. No, maybe I have done this. Actually, I don't know. It's possible. It's hard to remember, you know? I'm a wolf. My brain don't work, kind of, you know. Na, 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 na. Hello? Whoa! Okay. Shotty shells, good. I need those. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. 
Get oh, yeah. back, I've fiend. done this. I'll do you in for just like I did all your other demon kin. Calm down, old man. If you want to stay alive, come with me. Forget it. We're staying Forget right it. this whole thing passes over. <laughs> it's your funeral. Wait. Where are you gonna take us? You'll be safe at the church. But that's all the way across town. How are we supposed to get there? Just follow me. Well, okay. We'll follow you. Just wait for the whole thing to pass over. What that? Bullets. When did Shaun of the Dead come out? This one. Yeah. Grandpa. Grandma, where'd you go? No. Careful, Grandma. Grandpa, where are you? Grandpa? God damn it, Grandpa. What the hell are you doing? Oily rag. I like oily only rag. Only before 2010 or only after? I don't know. Probably after. Because, like, the thing about doing only before 2010 is uh, that means no more games. But after 2010, more games will keep coming out. Grandpa's being a problem here. Grandpa, what are you doing? Grandpa, get in here. Yay, I got him. I didn't get him. Damn it, Grandpa, what the hell? Grandpa, Grandpa. <laughs> Jesus, I got him out of the house. Yeah, there are good old games, but like before 2010 hey, is Sunny, slow down. We can't keep up with you. Not bad. Do you even care if we make it to the church alive? Marginally. Can't tell. The zombie Jesus. Grandma. There's been a lot of like good games after twenty ten as well, you know. And everything will probably get remade eventually, too. Well, not everything, but a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, 
Almost to the church. Only a few survivors left. Thank you for helping us. I hope you can rescue everyone else in town. I'll do it. Yeah. My name is Dan Thorpe. I'm from Chanford. They sent me here when the doctors never came back. They must have died trying to treat those monsters. Darn fools. Darn fools. Uh, excuse me, Sonny. But do you think you could go back and save our children? Why didn't you mention that while we were at your house? Well, I wasn't sure we could trust you. Now I know that if anyone can save them, you can. They're in the Jenkins basement, out back of the other farmhouse. They're hiding in the cellar and won't open the door unless they hear a special knock. Really? Uh, very original. <laughs> I'll be right back with your children. Special knock. My name's Buford Elliot. What should I call you? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever rescued him before. I thought you had to rescue everyone, but don't. <laughs> yeah, but the last game. Yeah, but. That's because you've played more games, not because, well, like, like, I'd still be older, it just, I'd be stuck with only game, like, you know? But it has more to do with how many games you've played and probably being a child. Like every, the more experiences you have with games, the less about them is new ever, you know? Whoa, Jesus. What the f hell was that? That's why for me, like, especially like action shooters and stuff, like, I don't like them because they're all most those are the most samey games of them all you know like survival horror tends to have a more variety strategy can sometimes i don't know or depends on the game but like baldur's gate 3 and alien dark descent were really fun Baldur's Gate 3 was kind of like uh, an old style game. Alien Dark Crescent was just different. the All Alone in the Dark remake's good. Heroes of Might and Magic. Those were good. I played the Settlers a lot. Ubisoft ruined that. Or... Settlers was great. Zombie cow, no.
Low in the Dark remake looks really good. And the cast is, of course, good, but that doesn't necessarily mean the game will be good, but... Don't shoot! I'm a human! Nuda, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome, everyone. To Nocturne. One of the weirdest obscure games. Actually, this game's awesome. You've streamed it? Thought I was the only one to ever stream this. <laughs> I've streamed it a few times. This game? Yeah, I do too. Someone made a really nice installer, though. That works pretty well. Like, I was able to get it working myself, but this one, this installer is better. What the hell? You can't get up here. What are you doing? But yeah, welcome everyone. I'm in the middle of doing weird Resident Evil clones. Again. I did Overblood and Martian Gothic yesterday. <laughs> that box looks breakable. I don't know if it actually is, though. Oops. Yeah, the collection installer is pretty good. <laughs> God. I was able to do it myself, like with DG Voodoo 2 is what I used, but I had, I, like, I was able to set it up myself. But yeah, collections has installers for Blair Witch 1 through 3 now, also. And they work. Okay, where did I save it? There's that box. Whoa. All the streams are chill. I don't even have emotions. This game's so crazy for 99. Hey, let's go rescue them kids. Ooh. What the hell, zombie? What are you doing? Come with me to the church. Why? Why? Your parents and others from the town are there. You'll be safe there. All right. Come on, Tommy. Baba Sue. Any, any bullets back here, kids? Oh, did I lose the tiny one? What the hell? Hey, Tommy, get stuck on the door. Whoa, 
bastard. I guess I won't run with these two either. So they don't get mad. I don't know. These two might keep up, though. This is, might be the old people that don't keep up, maybe. in the way of ammo. That's kind of sad. Let's go, kids. Who came to save us? Bobby Sue, get away from that man. <laughs> what the hell? What do you mean? Are you going to hell now? Tommy, watch your mouth. Are you get a whipping? But Ma, that's where all the monsters are. In hell? The pit. I saw a lot of monsters in there. It's really the doorway to hell. All the monsters are coming up from there. I've seen it. He must mean the old mine. It's been abandoned for years and sealed off. But I can I hear my neck creaking. Into it. What do you think? Crunchy or something. Boy, might be right. when boy I stop running it, into me. I what the hell? It. There's definitely something not right about that place. It's stop it, kid. Ask around, but T pose and grandma, what are you staring at? It. There was an accident there, and the mine was shut down. It hey, kid. been abandoned for decades. Kid. A strange man right, came stop, out of town last please. winter asking about the old mine, but he disappeared. I'll look into it. What's the Reverend looking at? Get in. The gate's locked up, but I know how to open it from the inside. I'll help you. Oh, okay, kid. Can you stop running to me now? Look, I like this. Like, he's just going to vanish. Wait, wait, what? Huh? What? Huh? There you go, Mr. Monster Killer. I'll take you back to the church. Oh, shoot. I can outrun any of those old monsters. I'll go myself. Suit yourself. <laughs> Bye, kid. I don't think that cutscene's supposed to do that, but it's always looked weird every time I've played it. I have a lot of heals. I don't have a lot of bullets either. There's 25 shotgun. Dark gem. Whoa! Those can kill you. I remember that much. Whoa! Oh yeah, the spider webs act like cloth. It's kind of funny. Our 
god. Oh god. Let's see, where do we go? I don't know. Let's go this way. What the? Need ammo. Oh, that dude shattered. Where's the ammo? Tunnel C. Feel like I used a lot of. Whoa! Oh God! Run away! Are you? I think I used a lot of ammo in the the town more than I usually would. I mean, I've only played this game like three times, but still. Night vision's kind of glitching. Maybe that doesn't work well in this mode or this <laughs> the way this guy installed it. I don't know. I'm I'm here somewhere. Help! There it goes. Okay, here we go. I should just use the axe more for the Z and B's, you know. Seems to work fine. the hell? There's a zombie standing there. Yep. Can I even get on this? I would think I can, but... I don't really think so. Hmm. 
Looks like a ladder. Think. Are you a ladder? Maybe this just doesn't go anywhere. Maybe it's just like a broken ladder or something. I don't know. But it is dark in here. Definitely darker than I remember. goes, but I think I need to do that. These are all explodies. That's a lot of explodies. Yeah, the night vision seems to have some trouble with certain areas. I'm dead! That's not good. That means I don't have a lot of health or heals. Or bullets. I got nothing. Now I can save the bullets, though, at least early on, while there's some light. And just use the axe. Whoa! Jesus! I cut both his arms off. Whoa! Just keep flailing. Where did he come from? He just came out of the wall. Yeah. pieces. Definitely aiming at something over there, but no. uh, I don't see it. He's dark. Oh, we need a mask to go in there. Dash mask. Why is the darkness dark? Who decided that should happen? If darkness was brighter, it'd be a lot easier to see.
Oh, maybe the night vision uses battery all... Yeah, it probably does. That's probably why it's, I keep thinking it's glitching out. It's not. It's probably just... Yeah, the battery just runs out, and it runs out fast. Hello? Hello? Duh. Oh, they're down there. I think I can jump across here. You cannot jump across there. Probably I should reload. Not take that giant damage. Or maybe you can jump across. It looked kind of close. Maybe you can't. You probably can't. I'm not sure. Maybe it's possible. Isn't this that ladder that I thought I couldn't... Maybe I could have grabbed it all along. It's right here. I guess I could have. Oh. I don't know why it wouldn't let me grab it then. I tried like both sides. I just probably just missed it. It's picky. Game's picky about lots of things. This room's a lot brighter this time. It's because of that dude with the helmet? Maybe. Yeah, this room is way brighter now. Why is this room so much brighter now? That's so weird. Maybe something was wrong. And then when I reloaded, it fixed. Because it was way darker. And that's the same... decided it wanted to go to sleep. Zambies. Anyone seen the movie Zombievers? With zombie beavers? Zombies of mass destruction, or Abraham Lincoln versus zombies, or Zombinator. No.
Oh, we're off with his hair. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Yeah. This is where the bombs go. Yeah. Gotta put the bomb there. But I gotta get the bomb too there. Chop. Chop. There's the gas mask. Dynamite. Sh 80 shoddy shell. We're saved. Get the hell off me. Where'd you come from? I was busy. Hmm. Entrance. Transfer room. A and B and C. Hmm. Oops. Yeah. I wish this franchise stayed alive. I like this this the whole concept was good. Turn all the lights on. I mean, there is a sequel, sort of. The first player witch game. You play as Doc Holliday, but the stranger does show up. But, like, the whole spook house thing could have been a good series. That was probably the intent, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure it was. Like Resident Evil, but... Yeah, Bla Nocturne is part, is canon, part of Blair Witch. They're in the same universe. So, Blair Witch could bring back Nocturne, in theory. I mean, Nocturne is kind of like 1920s to 40s uh, SCP. I love the intro, the black and white intro, live action intro. It's like all the characters, like, like they probably wanted to like make games with like t different characters. I mean, because Blood Rain was obviously, you know, Svetlana, and they're you know, they, so they probably wanted to make games with different characters and keep using the Spook House.
Unfortunately, the intro doesn't play with the way this is fixed. But th there was like another way to get the game to work that actually would play the intro. And then obviously, I guess you could use old hardware. That works too. And there's PC emulators, but those are super taxing. I, ha I just still don't understand why Good Old Games hasn't done this one. Or Blair Witches, for that matter. I mean, it's a recognizable... Blair Witches is a recognizable franchise. No! I fell. I didn't even fall that far. Like, it looked like I was still kind of hanging there. Unless a rock hit me. I don't know. Did I go in here? Did I save after going in here or before? After. I after. Well, there was that remaster of Blood Rain, but like Terminal Reality's dead. So. I'm not really sure who even has the rights, if it's the same people who have the rights to Blood Rain or not. But like, to to bring it back, you know, you would use obviously blood rain to do it. You know, because she's the recognizable character. Yeah, they even called it Terminal Cut, which is, you know, after Terminal Reality. Is Terminal Reality, do they still exist in some way, or? No. The Walking Dead game killed them. I would love to see this franchise come back, but... I want to know what happened after this, the first game, like they were, the whole spook house was attacked. And we don't know what happened, and we never will. Um, do I have to use this? <coughs> Gas. I can't breathe. Well, that's why I... I can't go back in there without some kind of gas mask. Oh, I can't have my weapon out to put the mask on. Okay. Yeah, we should probably. I mean, if it is actually them, I could see them doing this, but... I think it's Ziggurat, though. I think maybe Ziggurat owns them. But maybe, like, some of the developers still exist. Bullets. I don't know. I don't know. I want this back, and I want Martian Gothic back, and I want 
Resident Evil to be survival horror again. What are you doing? Hmm? What? You've had enough dinners. You've had first dinner and second dinner. And I think you've had third dinner. Yeah. I think. Berserker mode. That, that's not horror. That just is like... Doesn't... That's just like... A challenge mode. That doesn't make it scary. That just makes it... RE4 more obnoxious. <laughs> if anything, it probably makes it less scary. What do I need to do? I forgot what makes it so the... Maybe turning the lights on actually does make it so the dynamite will actually go up the uh, thingy. I don't think you can just jump this, can you? What the hell? I mean, now we got more light here. Maybe you can jump this. I don't think so, though. It seems a bit... A bit much. There's been at least, like, a lot of good indie kind of horror stuff, though, that, you know. There's some cool ones coming up. Like Hollow Body and Echoes of the Living. I hope Alone in the Dark remake is good. Mm. That's not indie, obviously, but still. It looks good. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Duh. Oh, it just comes back. Uh, maybe I do have to jump across that thing. Do I really? Oh. Seems a bit sketch. Oh, no, wait. Maybe you can just climb this mess. Can you actually? I don't know. Oh, that seems a bit weird, too. There's probably another way. Let's just go up here. It'll be fine. It'll work, right? That's the one thing about this game. Blair Witch is better, I would say. Although, I mean, it would be better if it was as long as this, but... The platform... The jump button should never have been added. Oh god. Yeah, that's the resolution changing. Yeah. If I did yeah, If I didn't have two PCs, OBS would just crash, but... Ooh, help. But like I said, you can use software mode if you have one PC and didn't want to stream this and it'll be okay.
Maybe I do. Let's try jumping across. That's the only thing I can think of. Wait, is there a pit there or not? There is a pit there, but not on the side. Oh, okay. Okay. I think you can jump across. I keep changing my mind about this. Ah. I don't think this is right. Maybe I should look at the map again, too. I don't think he... Yeah, I don't... I didn't think we could jump across... Hmm. Unless... I think that's where the thing leads, and it leads to another room with another lever, and then... Oh, you can... Oh, Jesus. Barely. Yeah. I kind of thought... There's some goofy jumps in this game. Yep, there's the, there's the bomb. The biggest mistake in this game is uh, jumping being a thing in their game design, I think. There we go. This is what we needed. Put that there. Off it goes. Like outside of the jumping, this game is really good. And some of the weird traps, I guess, but whatever. Uh oh, I made it. Mm, this way. Now we've got good ammo too. Cat wants more food, of course. She always does. Hey, big kitty. Look who it is. It's like, no, let me down. There's no food here. I don't even think she ate all her food. I just think she forgot she still has some. And I have to lead her to it. Have you considered checking your bowl before asking me for food? What do you think? No? Maybe? You want to check first, or no? You just want to ask. She just turns around and looks at me. She won't check. I'll get her. A, I'll show her the food soon. Get out of this little tunnel. What do? Keep saving. This game's scary. No! <laughs> you hard.
that. They're only nuts if you don't cap the frame rate. See, they're fine right now. See? This is how it's supposed to be. They're pretty good, but you have to, uh, you have to cap it. Can't you could see him now, right? I never even really noticed that, but he actually does take the guns from under the cloak coat and the coat moves back. I didn't even really notice that. I just thought they appeared out of, like I mean they do appear out of nowhere, but they do move the coat like they are under the coat. This whole area is dark. Got an error of refreshing. Oh. This is just a dark area. If anything, it's probably brighter for you than it is for me. Ooh. There's been... A places I think. Did I go the right way? Flashlight has a battery though and it does die pretty fast. Here we go. Rome book. I'm floating. Oh, there we go. Rome book. You, you just get a, a regular laptop. Put Linux on it. Better Chromebook. Boom. Yeta. This is the darkest air er like area in the game, I think. I mean it's a mine, so What the Little wormy bastards. Their blood glows. That's kind of nice. Yeah, can you see now? Can you see? Can you see now? <laughs> All right. I'm going to show the cat where her food is, so she stops begging. I'll be right back. Make sure I don't die.
All right, I'm back. There was food. I told her there was food. She didn't believe me, and I had to go show her, and it was there. She still had food. They just... I mean, I guess if she went to check and there wasn't food, then she would have wasted her time or something, so that's why she just decides to waste my time instead. What the... The hell? What the... Stop it. Jesus. That classic noise, that classic monster noise. You have? Slugs. Where am I going? Did I turn around? You're not dead? Oh, whatever. Going this way. Whoa! Wait, did I turn around? Hello? Where am I? Oh no, now I turned around. Which way's forward? Oh. Oh. Hold on. Sixty bundles of dynamite? What the... Sixty? Oh god, no! No! Ah! Throwing dynamite is very weird in this game. Holy crap. There's a tiny one there. Oh. Jesus. Flute man. What the hell? Yeah, I still got some heals. What? Die! Die what till you hell? die from it. Oh god.
right. What the? I don't like what I see here. It's okay though, we got 60 bun- what the? 60 bundles of dynamite. too far. Oh, I got something. Bring down the whole cave. Oh god. Did I get him? I think I did. I think I did. Look at him. Oh. Barbecued slugs. The hell are you? You're different. I don't think it's a dog. Didn't we just do that? A transition? That was a chapter? That room? What the hell? Not a, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Why that one hallway need its own load? <laughs> What's that? Doctor bag? Toddy shells, good. Old game. Whoa, Jesus. Panic. I'm not panicking. I'm the stranger. Hmm. They did no, nah, there's no movie from Blood Rain's got movies. They suck because they're, but they're kind of funny. Oh God, there's a lot. Whoa. Blood Rain movies much, but 
I have seen them. All three. there though what what did what are all those arms this game yes like for for 99 this game looks kind of incredible in a lot of ways whoa <laughs> I mean, it's got more detail than, like, Dreamcast games in a lot of ways, especially Shadows. This is kind of crazy, the whole uh, first-person night vision, even though it's a pre-rendered background game. What the hell? Oh, it's, a light. it's an elevator. Now to fun. Yes, I don't think I can walk. All right, can we? Maybe I can walk on it right now, but not later. Yeah, right now we can walk on it, but probably as soon as I grab this, we gotta. Yeah. There it goes. Yep. One jump. Two jump. Can't believe I did that. Whoa. Okay. No, I actually did it. There's no bar. tried to time it but I didn't fall I looked like I was falling but I, I, I should have fallen but no no
<laughs> Why? Why is this happening? I'm in the I'm in the mountain. I'm dead apparently. God. <laughs> Scared. I think I've had that happen before. Why is lever scary? No. 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 Okay. Fine. It's like you start sliding, but you can fight it, I guess. This game is surprisingly long. What the hell are you? I wonder what happens, Pete. I mean, you're not supposed to just shoot it, but... Dots. What do I have? What cookie do I have? We have the cookie with four dots and two dashes. We have this cookie. Ooh. Flute man. Ah. Bastard. Bastard. There's some other goofy jumps I remember. Oh god. This is what's happening. Oh, ow. Oops, I almost got there. I think you just run, but you're back. How was fourth dinner? Hmm? No, I mean, this 
this isn't the the fix camera's fault. They did some goofy things with some of their game design. But I do think you could make a game where like you don't like you have a lot of fixed camera, but at times you go behind the shoulder. I mean like Silent Hill did that. You know? Like at certain points you would transition to a different angle because it would be better. Like a behind the back. It would just work better. But this is a pre-rendered background game. So like you can't At least I'm pretty sure it is, even though you do have this, but, like, these are, like, not as detailed, I think. But I, when you're like this, I'm pretty sure it's... I don't know how they did this. Huh? Oh. Well, it's like, but like, that time the camera angle stayed so I could actually see. Like, it, like that didn't seem to happen last time, you know? That was weird. Maybe because of the enemies? I don't know. Uh, eight dodge. Loot man. <laughs> the hell even are these things? Isn't there an enemy like this in one of the Souls likes? Like almost exactly? Or am I? Like the uh, like like the servants of that spider lady, right? Yeah. Or something? With the thing on their back? Yeah. They were kind of similar. Well, they didn't, I don't think they had the arms, though, right? Sticking out of the back. Yeah, I don't know. I made it. Yeah. See, sometimes with these, you like you can't even really tell. Like, is this go up right here? It does. Yeah, that's blocking you from just jumping straight forward. Okay, I guess. Whoa, slippy. It is slippery too, the movement, like you do have momentum. No! Oh! Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Got chopped into a couple pieces. But I think this one, like, if I just do standing jumps.
I did it. When it's just standing jumps, it's not too bad. It's just... Wait, what? Did I really miss? Apparently. Apparently I missed. It's hard to judge, like, depth, you know? That's where it's like these fixed camera platforming. That's why it never works. Like, because it's just, or, you know? Like, I thought I was above the thing. <laughs> Three D jump it on two D. So that is here. There we go. The third pookie. Wait, where am I? What the hell just happened, camera? Yeah, this game also needs some camera work, but. You know. know how close to it I was though. It's hard to tell sometimes. Scary. Never know what's gonna happen. What does this do? Oh. Fine. Wait. Huh? Oh. Wait. There's something odd about this stone. It's not like the others. One of these stones is not oh days is not like the others. Mm, I think I'm dead. No. How come I couldn't put it back? It did look like a trap. I was like, well. I guess I should try it. Oh, that's fun. Yep. 
yes, it's going to spin after I pick this up. Oh! Oh. I did it! I just, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just YOLO. easy to yodel when you can save your game because you doesn't the, the phrase makes no sense because you live way more than once uh, I remember this being kind of weird oh wait we still gotta go in another door though Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Oh, no. Giant grub worm. People. What the hell happens in here? People? I haven't made like a normal save in a while. I've just been doing quick saves. Uh. Oh, hi. It's just enemies. Oh, man. Wait, what? Hello? Oh, we've been we've been captured. I guess. Scooter? What's wrong with you? Why didn't you kill him? I am to my true you know? What? Replace me? It was I who summoned you! If not for me, you would have slept another ten millennia in this ancient pit! I awoke you. I gave you an entire town to feed on. And this is how you repay me? Huh? I'm no longer useful. <laughs> and this is what you chose to replace me? I can't. I'm not grown. I don't. Is human superior to me? You pathetic crap. I made you. I created you from the void you've been banished to. You're not for me, you... Yeah. <laughs> Huh? You will now take the role of a priest. I don't want to be a priest. Hell I will. The Baron! The Baron is here! What a mess you got yourself into this time. Without, Without my help, you would surely die. Where the hell did you come from? I see, I see you've, you've awoken, awoken the Elder, Elder God. I had nothing to do with that. I, I know. <laughs> There's, There's no way a little man, man like you could bring this monster, monster out of eternity. But you, but you can't, can't send it back. 
This entire chamber is designed to contain that monster. All you need is a binding stone. It's disc-shaped with the image of that fiend engraved on it. You mean like this? That's the one! The seal on the floor is incomplete without it. Place that stone in the center of the seal beneath the creature. I'll hold these foul beasts. Got it. Uh, Hooter. You best get the hell out of here. Oh, and, and stranger. You. We owe him. Oh no, we owe the Baron. Apparently. Ah! Oops. Oof. Maybe I should have. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Been more careful. Can skip cut change. Uh, this. Use the cookie. You, you best, best get the hell out of here. Oh, oh and, and stranger. You. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know why this little grub worm decided to trust me, though. Or whatever, I don't know. This whole place feels different now. We did well. That thing is still down there, in the mine. Asleep. But it's still there. Surely no one will mess with that thing again. Yeah, right. I'll order a spook house containment team to seal this place off. Body count. Two episodes down. You can start the third. Chicago. Oops, not load. What am I doing? Dart. I don't know why this is like this. So okay. I act three. Yeah, this is the start. This should be the start of Act 3. There's been some peculiar activity in Chicago. Last night, one of Al Capone's hitmen, Jack the Knife Campelli, hit a speakeasy in East Chicago. Speakeasy? The mob hits somebody every night these days. Ah, but the thing is, we got a report from Elliot Ness's office two months Elliot ago Ness. that Campelli was killed in a shootout. Ah, uh, clerical error. Between the feds and the Chicago cops, I'm sure names and faces get mixed up all the time. We don't think so. We have a new informant in Chicago, Vincenzo Gasparo. He goes by the name Icepick. 
He's been telling us the same thing. Ice pick saw a man who died two weeks ago gunning down members of Ice a rival pick. family last night. You're saying the mafia is employing the undead now. That's ridiculous. Maybe not. We've learned that a German scientist named Enrich Lothring immigrated to the United States three years ago. According to our intelligence, he spent the last 20 years developing technology to raise the dead. What the like hell? Frankenstein. You're joking. I'm quite serious. If the Mafia has found a way to recycle their dead, even those yep. who've been... Frankenstein shred, episode. It's our job to deal with it. Frankenstein. People! Frankenstein was fiction, stranger. This is reality. Our own scientists are on the brink of similar technology. If we relied solely on modern medicine, half our operatives would be dead, yourself included. We can revive a person who, by all known science, is dead, but even we can't do what Lothring is doing. If Capone's scientist has found a way to revive a man from virtually any degree of death, we're all in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. Was he if saying the stranger has died? People will walk over the face of the earth. This is serious business, stranger. What happens when the cop's bullets are useless against criminals? What happens when this savage abuse of nature spreads beyond Chicago? If you say so. Ice Pick has infiltrated Capone's gang. He'll meet you at Pier 59 in Chicago. Ice Pick claimed to be on the verge of discovering exactly what Capone is up to, but we've lost contact with him. General Biggs, do come in. I'm not too early, am I? You said to meet here at 0900 hours. No, no, you're right on time as usual. Stranger, this is General Biggs. He will be acting as our liaison to the United States Army, so he will what is he looking at? from time to time. Our relationship huh? is mainly information sharing. However, if the need arises, he's the man who can get us an armed regiment to aid us. I thought the whole point of Spook House was to keep our information closely guarded. The General's men are fiercely loyal to him, and if they ever assist us, they will deny it to their deaths. Our secrets will not be compromised. We're all fighting for the same cause. General Biggs, I would like you to meet our top operative. General Biggs, the stranger. The stranger? <laughs> you aren't hiding something that we should know, are you, soldier? Nothing that need concern you. Huh. Well... Colonel and I go way back, so if he says something, I'd take his word for it. He tells me you're the best there is. The it's best the there is. The man that works so hard to protect our country. Nice to meet you as well. Not to cut this short, but the general is pressed for time, and he and I need to discuss some issues, so we'll bring this meeting to a close. Watch your back, stranger. No, we're stuck. <laughs> this happens. Stranger? It's okay. <laughs> what the heck? We got stuck on the door. Let me back in. Oh, that dude, there was that, what's his name? He was used to sit at this desk and now he's dead. But Lana, still wearing the see-through top. What brings you in here? You usually avoid me like the plague. Ah. Uh. I don't understand you, stranger. And right now, I don't have the time to try and figure you out. I have a mission to think about. You are disrupting my concentration. Disrupting your thinking? Why are you thinking here? Stand staring at this wall, though. Is this your the thinking wall? Uh I guess. What the anyway. Bye. Damn. 
even Doc Holliday is gone. Where's Doc Holliday? Oh, the grub worms in here. I'd better leave Holiday's things alone. He's scared of Holiday. It's the only thing he's scared of. Werewolf? What are you doing in here? Fetlana's here, I guess. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Beepo. Beepo. Chicago. This is my least favorite level. There's lots of dudes with machine guns. It's never good. The world is a dark place. You must be Ice Pick. Uh, yeah, but that ain't the password. Don't start with me. Spook house sent me. Leave it at that. Okay, now we got that squared away. What should I call you? Stranger. Uh, I've heard weirder names. Hey, I thought we was Jake. You're one of Who them. the hell's Jake? Them who? One of those reanimated monsters yeah I was dead that crazy German brought me back to life you got a problem with that yeah I make it a habit to kill monsters not help them hey first off stranger all your friends are monsters to stop this from happening to anyone else I didn't ask for this and second you got it the wrong way around I'm not asking for help you need my help. And you didn't think you should maybe mention your condition to the Colonel? You guys are monster hunters. I figured no one would get sent if you knew a monster made the report. There's some freaky shit going down here, and I have information that can help you stop it. Take it or leave it. What have you got for me? There's a speakeasy down the block speakeasy. called the Vendome. He's behind the pet shop. Use his pass to get in. I was supposed to meet a newspaper reporter there, but I don't exactly fit in, do I? I told him I'd send someone else in my place. He's suspecting you right now. Go to the bar and order a Manhattan. My reporter friend will find you. Capone's ordered patrols throughout Capone. the area, so stay low as you walk around here. Stick to the alleys wherever you can. He means it when he says patrols. They're all over the place. With machine guns. They all have Tommy guns. The hell? Chuck doing Huh? The hell's this for? I don't know. Hear a lot of car horns.
Streets are full of gangsters. It's Chicago. There's one up there. He's already sees me, even though I'm on the other side of the building. What the hell's with that? Yeah, this level is um, a bit, um, a bit obnoxious. The fourth level's good, but uh, three is the weak one. Oh, damn it! Now I can't see him. The RE4 Island of Nocturne, yeah. Basically, you have zombies shooting at you, yeah. With machine guns. Let's see you dance. I don't want to dance. Help. Help. Can I go in here? I can. Coffins. The morgue. Cook County. I've been there. I've been to Cook County. Well, I've been to Chicago, too, because I used to live in Illinois. It didn't look like this, though. It looked a little different. Whoa. Ooh. Like deep dish pizza. Look out. Get out of the streets. They're dangerous. Oh. Hardware store, apparently. I don't really recognize this store. Ooh. Doctor bag in the hardware store. One item at the over here looks like something, but it's probably nothing. I think it's all just clutter. Tr Traugott's hardware. Who the hell's Traugott? Meh. <laughs> <laughs> they get run over by their own cars a lot. Oh, that's a ladder?
Wait, where the hell am I? Hmm? Let's just fish. Oh, look. A train? I don't think I've found this before. I found a trains. Maybe I have found this before. I probably have. What the hell? of this place, though. Oh, that's the point, I guess. I already had one of those, because you can pick them up off the dead, but still, we gotta heal, too. That people can't. I think the one in Discord can make a train or something. And I don't remember how to ask it, but yo, Whoopsie. Uh, good old Chicago. This is a good game for stupid deaths. Thanks to platforming. And camera angles like that. So the Blair Witch I think is like a better game. Like, well, like the Blair Witch episode is better than in general, but I mean like this game's got way more. Just, and this game's obviously better than the other Blair Witch games. Jesus. Off with their head. Well, I actually split one of them in half, but. <laughs> Give me the guns. Cargo's a mess. They run themselves over a lot. I think one just died, but... They go in here? Sure, it looks like you probably can't. And I mean, it definitely highlights this door with that camera angle, but I guess, I guess not. Jesus. He 
fell apart. All right. How's this? Just a fan. I'm back here. I'm going this building. Prometheus. Wait, what? Pork brains? Prometheus pork brains? Huh? Prometheus pork brains? I don't know, I just don't think I could put the word Prometheus with pork brains, so I was trying to, I thought it was something else. Do you like some Prometheus pork brain? Where the hell am I going anyway? Right, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. Whoa! Something ain't Jake here. Who the hell's Jake? I don't know. Must be related to Roger, though. How Sam Pig Boy Prometheus Truffles. Yeah. Anytime you hear like something's a fungus, you're like, should I really eat that? It's just not a tasty sounding word, you know? Mm. What the?
Is this really nothing back here? I guess so. Oh, stranger. Hmm. Sometimes it like highlights a door like that. But can't go. Ow! Although I will say Nocturne Chicago from uh, is bigger than RE3 Remix Raccoon City. By quite a lot. It just, it just kind of leaves it open. You got to figure out where to go and all that on your own, you know, which is what they could have done. I mean, this game's from 99 you know, and made by like 10 people. There's no way Capcom could compete with that. No way at all. It's kind of weird. Like, it's just like making a giant area, that's not hard. And just like putting items and key places and stuff. And yeah, I don't, that seems like that's not difficult. And that's kind of like the only thing they needed to do. this building no oh, it's for later I think that room is that might actually be for later hello where the hell am I help I'm ghost I'm stuck in Chicago's alleyways this level is confusing though it's definitely the weak link. Let's see your dates. And sometimes they see you through the walls, like they are now. They don't hit you through the walls, but they do see you. And shoot at you and talk to you. What's the matter? Somebody hit you. Duh. What? No, I'm back here? Wait. What the hell? Why am I back here? Huh? Okay. Oh, wait. The police. Police, help. Police, no! You're not the police. Wanted. These have to be developers. These wanted. They have to. It has to be. Like, most likely. That's what I think. What am I carrying? A leg? Oh, 
Oh, there's a doctor back there. Ooh, what's this building? Hotel Vanessa. You know, I don't remember this place at all. What are you guys doing? Can I talk to you? Or you, maybe? Can I talk to any of you? No? Mm. Okay, well, bye, ladies. I guess. Umberta. What the? She's she's naked. The hell? I don't know if I was supposed to find this place. Ma'am, are you okay? What are you? What the hell's going on here? I think we gotta go. Why are they all dead inside? Or what? Do, they're not. Why don't they talk? Is this like an unfinished room or something? It's like some random DJ motel work in progress. That's what it felt like. This level might be like probably the one they spent the least time on because there's like stuff like this. It's like uh. Why did I come up here? Why is it so empty? I don't know. But it, I mean, there are a lot of, you know, random shops and stuff, but they don't look like much and definitely don't have much. This one has a heel in it, though. Eee. Still, it's a pretty big map, especially for, I mean, I guess, this kind of game for the time. More healing. Standard of shoe stability. Solid leather. Hmm. What is this? It's almost like they had a lot of this area set up to like put more content in this place, but they just, you know, like, ah, uh, whatever. Especially because like the camera angles point at so many of these doors, like they look important. Sort of. What the hell is this building? Certainly is a lot of buildings you can go in, but it's like, then you once you get in there, it's like hollow. A lot of them are. Like, yeah, go go in here. There's four doors in here. None of them, none of them you can interact with. It's like, well, why could I go? In? I guess you can hide for a bit. That's probably part of it, but from the cars, but. Hmm. Dish. Fence. Mm -hmm. 
Well. Where am I going? I don't know. What the? This place is a maze. <laughs> like, look at this. Like, I go down in this alley. It highlights that door, but it's not a door you can go in. It's so weird. Hey, it's the, it's the that kid from that show or something, isn't it? What that the the months? Wait, what? I don't know. What the hell? Like, what is this? I climbed up here. Uh, this is all you can do up here. There's no like what? It's so weird. I guess it's just to look at that picture. With the giant widow's peak kid. And whatever you... Uh, Come to Papa. I'm going up this ladder. I don't know if I should be going this way. What the? I don't recognize it. I think I'm finding things I haven't found before, too. Watch, this doesn't... Yeah, I can't interact with this either. But it looks important. Maybe you leave from there. Waterworks. Pet shop. Ooh, there's a lot of lights. It's a theater. Ow. Look at all the destruction. The glass. Called me an egg, I think. I don't know, actually. Where am I going? I'm lost. Ow. Supposed to go to like a bar. Somewhere. I don't remember where. This level confuses me. Much confused.
Yeah, we're like supposed to talk to someone and. Whoa! Don't get run over. Ah! Hotel Aldridge. Oh, there's more hotels. Oh, wait, this is where I started, right? Help me, please. Where did Ice Pick say I go? I don't know. Help me, please. <laughs> Just picked up a foot. Nate Jake here. I'm not Jake. Looking for Jake, go somewhere else. I kind of think it was like up like a stairwell, kind of like one of these, but I don't know where. There's some dude guarding like a bar or something. But me not know. Chicago very confused. Pet shop. But it's not this. I mean, this place looks kind of important, like, but you can't talk to anyone here. And there's the police. Police are useless. Well, there aren't any police, apparently. There's nobody there. Just a couple gangsters were living there at the police station. <laughs> Didn't seem right. You know, maybe there is. Oh, I think I see. But I don't know if this is where I need to go, but. Ooh, damage! Eedy. Let's see if I can shift the camera. Well, damn it. I did save, though. I want to get on that beam because it's straight across from the that what appears to be a ladder. But it's so awkward. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, I can't even. Hmm. 
I don't think that's it anyway, though. I probably just completely missed something. Oh. Yeah. I don't like Chicago. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? I think it's this way. Well, I might have missed something here. I don't know. I don't think anything's here. Maybe. Some barrels. I always like barrels. I don't know. Hopefully I could just figure out where to go. Like at the, the beginning of Chicago is the hard part. Because it's just confusing and there's machine guns everywhere. Go to the theater. The theater. Oh God. Oh. Crazy flute guy. Where do I go? Prometheus. What the hell is this? Oops. Oh, it's probably what gets us into the whatever secret meeting. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. Got ran over. The train was up here.
start. Uh, what have I missed? I don't understand. Army guns. I know the waterworks is like a point we do something at, but not yet. Just finding everywhere but where I need to go. Might be where you leave the waterworks. What's over? Have I been over here? I know I went up that ladder, but like. Did I go here? Oh, yeah, there's the clothes. If I remembered where I was supposed to, like the name of the place, maybe it had like, uh, maybe there's a sign for it somewhere. I don't remember. <laughs> I forgot. Dude got <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> I think the theater might be important at some point. Yeah, the theater is definitely someplace we go as well. What's the matter? Somebody hit you. Finding all the later places we go, not the first place we go, is what I need to find. Probably some insane camera angle I keep missing. Dun dun. Who knew Chicago was such a maze? 
God damn it, Chicago. Let's see you dance. I know, because they, yeah, they, the bodies stay, so we're just, just collecting more. I don't know if they'll... <laughs> Jesus. Do ladies know where I go? Probably not. Can't talk to them. My pal Tommy. You know, I've done this before, and I'd never, I'd definitely had trouble finding it, but not like this. I have no idea what is wrong with me. <laughs> 24 hours of Chicago. No! I will probably end up restarting the level tomorrow and I'll find it right away. Hotel Aldridge. This is where we started. Leon and Eddie's. The hell boing boing this truck. They do keep respawning the shooters. You're meant to kind of sneak through the alleys to find your way to these the key locations. But like I'm I've always had trouble with this level. I mean there's no map in this game to begin with, but like, I've never had this much trouble in this level, finding... Because you're supposed to meet... or go to a... meet some contact at a bar. Like, you go to a... So go to the bar, order Manhattan, whatever, you know. Soap? Soap? What the hell? This giant widow's peak guy... is soap? I mean, they can kill you pretty fast if you get stuck or something, but mostly it's kind of more of an attrition thing. Like, I keep using heals because the longer I, it takes me to find it.
This place isn't that big. That's what's weird. Like, what am I missing? What door have I not opened? I haven't been in here, but this is just the pet shop. It's got a heel. But it's not where we need to go. It's a weird looking pet shop, too. I don't... Is this what I missed? This is what I... There... It's an alley right next to the pet shop. Let's see a pass. Welcome to the window. Man. Yeah. Pretty sure the band is zombies. This is pretty cool though, once you get here. That's the same model as that the bad guy or that one dude in the first mission. Hey, what you doing? What are you guys doing up here? Can I come up here? No, this is the same guy as the guy behind the bar. That's funny. to plan. Finish this game tomorrow. Now that I know where to go here, I'll probably just start from chapter three, but I'll just, you know, I'll be able to run right to here. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Have a good night, everybody. And I will see everyone next time. All right. Night, everyone.